welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. All right, Gene. Here we are. Here we are, and here we go, and away we're off to. I just saw FIFA humping uh, Bitsy. Very rare in this. Doesn't house. happen a lot. Doesn't. He happen doesn't a lot. have a high libido. We thought we had absolutely none. We thought we had <laughs> a genderless, sexless, completely asexual, asexual animal for <laughs> many years. <laughs> he was. We cut his nuts off, and he, he never didn't humped change. anything. Never. But today, he. he I no, think we he, got him fixed, right? No, he, we got. Of course, we did. Both no, of I'm our animals were fixed. He arrived to us fixed. No, he did not. He arrived to us with these big black balls. Oh, remember, he had big black nuts, and <laughs> I guess I huge don't. for his little body. He oh, only weighs. <laughs> that's right, because twelve pounds. The first day that um, we got FIFO, he. We, he, we walked him into our house and he was like, Hi, I'm Peyton Lafferty <laughs> and I'm a ball hog. <laughs> That's right. True story. The yeah. shelter named him Peyton Lafferty. That's and right. And we had to change it. <laughs> and he, uh, he was like, feel. I got these big black balls and I want you to suck <laughs> on them. We were like, whoa. But they were true. so big. And I remember he used to run and they would jingle. It was actually very cute. Mm-hmm. But no, now he has no, uh, no balls, but he's just humping her. He, he gets anxious when other people are coming around. Yeah, I think he, does. he senses we're gonna have a guest. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, no, that's the only time he does it when he senses he it's chaotic. It's like when you are anxious or depressed and you masturbate compulsively, or when you're on the road and why you're you, depressed. Yeah, why are you telling everybody? Yeah, <laughs> isn't that everybody's thing? Especially if you know like a redhead's coming over, then it happens more. You, know? you think so? I think so. He yeah. gets excited over that. I think he knows. Yeah, well, he's you know. a huge fan of the guy that's coming today. I know yeah, he yeah. watches all of his specials. And yeah. Big, huge you know, fan of ATC. Uh, you know, and uh, <laughs> fucking, uh, you know, you fucking guys out of their fucking minds. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so. Let's excite. Yeah, excite, amaze. Anyways, we're, we had a lot to cover. Let's, um, let's get into it. Okay, yes. You want to? Yes. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah Come yeah, on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah. You, <laughs> all right, you crazy ball hog. Here we go. Here we go. A ball hog. The team developed an ingestible electronic capsule to monitor gas levels in the human gut. When it's paired with a pocket-sized receiver and a mobile <laughs> phone app, the pill reports tailwind conditions in real time as it passes from the stomach to the colon. This shit is big time! Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother to this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. Kabuki. So, yeah. I'm petting Lafferty. I love a ball hog. <laughs> <laughs> that is what my a... favorite series of all yeah. time. I also like the name Peyton Pay- and Lafferty. Like, it's such a white girl. It's such a thing to name. pick your porn name. I mean, I know there's the old kind of. Wait a minute. That's not her given God name. You would never believe it. <laughs> but no. Your parents didn't destine you to become a, a pornography. There's like three people Girl. that use their real name. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody else obviously picks a performing name. Yeah. And the old joke, you know, is like you pick like the name, your first your street, pet or, the street or something. But yeah, that's stupid. I mean, what if you had to go out there right now and, and pick a porn name? Pajitsky. Easy to pronounce. Easy to spell. Easy to search. Horrible. <laughs> that's the worst. Horrible. I'm such an idiot. I should have changed my last name for like 15 years ago when yeah, I you started have. stand up. I know, I but know. I couldn't find a suitable. I just couldn't. You know, you could have. I tried. I wanted to be Christina Black, but then there's Jack Black. He was huge at the time. Mm. Louis Black. Oh right. You know what I mean? There's too many blacks. Like there was too many. Too many blacks. There are. There are. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. There's just. <laughs> they're everywhere. They're coming into our cities. Yeah, Is that yeah. They're ruining everything. No, there, it, there are too many people with that last name, and that's what I wanted. I just. I couldn't think of something. What would you name me now? If you uh, give me another name besides Segura, obviously, but um, I can't do that because we're not the fucking Bobsy twins of comedy. Uh, I know. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's so lame. Uh, Delilah Dog Cunt. That'd be Dog one. Cunt would be. Talk about a uh, ticket seller. <laughs> Christina if Dog Cunt. Doing, t- <laughs> if you were doing <laughs> porn and they yeah. and they do that thing before your your scene yeah. where they go, your scene. The guy, the guy's like, uh, "Hey, babe, you look super hot." And then he's and you're like, ha, ha, thanks. And then he's like, what's your name? And you're like, Delilah Dog Cunt. That's actually like, quite good. Whoa, 
Let's see this thing. Yeah. I mean, that does pique your interest, no? On a, if, if somebody texted me right now, you seen this uh, Delilah dog hunt? I'd be like, whoa, 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 whoa what? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> she's uh, doing porno. She's pretty fucking crazy. I'd be like, yeah, of course. <laughs> she named herself dog hunt. That's... That is the craziest. Yeah, that's yeah, that's she's wild for sure. Delilah dog hunt. Dog um, cunts. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's so funny that they um that the porno industry still insists on calling it things like scenes or films. Oh, I know. I love it. I love like, it. it. Right? Like do we I love have it. to My do that anymore? My favorite language thing that they do <laughs> is that they call people outside of it citizens. Oh right, right, civilians. right. Sorry, Civil- so civilians. Why do that in comedy? I yeah. I know, but it's just funny to me that like, because there is usually when you think of civilians, you think of the military, right? So right. I think of I think of porn people thinking of themselves as um like really sacrificing, <laughs> like, or just the cultural elite, yeah, in some like, way, yeah. Well, these regular civilians, they don't know the kind of thing that yeah. we do. We're, you mean fucking? We're special. Yeah, we don't know anything about fucking. <laughs> yeah, two kids. Nobody does. Yeah. 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 Civilians. I'm gonna, shoot, right. I'm gonna shoot my scene today. It, yeah. it does help psychologically. I gotta go to work. It's all about. Yeah, it's all psychological. Yeah, because you've got to feel okay about being Peyton Lafferty, the ball hog. Yeah, of course. If you're like, I'm, well, I'm kind of technically acting. So people around you yeah. normalize it. You know? Yes. Yeah. That's absolutely true. Yeah. So yeah. It, it's legitimized. Well, I guess porn back in the day was shown in movie theaters, which yeah. now it, you're just like, could you even imagine going All of to us a, sitting in a full theater, not jerking off like a yeah. whole room full well, of dudes? Especially that now they have those recliner chairs in theaters. <laughs> So it's like state of the art comfortable, you know? Yeah, you and can you have could, a blanket over you. You can press a button to call <laughs> the server in some of those exclusive theaters, you know, and be like, I kind of need some more tissue. I'm like, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. You have to whisper you, you know, it. Like, yeah. I, made, I made a mess. I made a mess. <laughs> can, I, can I have the cum, the cum cleaner? But yeah. then the cum cleaner will come around and wipe you off as but part of the service. He's just an old guy. And you're like, it's like, it's not erotic. You're like, oh man. He's like, I've been cleaning cum for 48 years. <laughs> he's got a filthy rag and he mm-hmm. uses the same rag he's on got everyone. Four teeth. He's like, I came here. I needed a job. And they <laughs> said, clean the cum. And I, that's how I get my living. You're like, will you go yeah. away? Now? God, get out of here. I think cum cleaner's got to be the worst job in the world. I did it. Oh, that's right. It splashed. Yeah. I was a cum cleaner. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> yeah, but not like not like in the movie theater. No, but it was saying. nasty as fuck. It was nasty I mean, as hell. I did laundry where people just fucked. <laughs> Um, I had to mop the floor, the, the hot tub. Now, just so people know, there was this place called Splash, the relaxation spa. Right. If you on ever Third Street, if you ever watched the show Blind Date? Uh, for right. some reason, every Excellent day reference. ended up at Splash. Cause, well, because I'll tell you why. Yeah. It, it why was, do was, they do that? It was monetary. So what happened was, so Splash, Splash. Called, <laughs> it called itself the relaxation <laughs> spa. So if you're you're unaware, you go like, oh, maybe that's a spa. That's what I thought when yeah, I went in there. Of course you would, because that's what they're calling it. Right. So at a spa, I imagined, I go like, I like spas. That's when I first got here. <laughs> you know, I like, I like to relax. I like to relax. <laughs> I like steam rooms, you know? Like maybe I can uh, get a discount on a massage. Meet some nice or, guys. Yeah. So I figured, you know, I'll be like a towel boy. Like the guys you see at a spa. Sure. You know, dressed up and like wearing their little thing. Like, can I get you a glass of water or something? So I get there. Um... And the guy gives us a tour. I was with my friend Chuck, and we go in there, and he's like, oh, it's hourly rentals of <laughs> themed rooms. So there's like the Barcelona That's room. That's right. I remember Japanese that. garden. Right. Greek room. And basically- The Greco-Roman. Yeah. It's so stupid. It's Columns behind them. It has like plants yeah. and paintings on the <laughs> Fake wall. Fake plants. And it has a hot tub and a bed. And so what yeah. it was do is it, it was just to rent. Now, they would- they would lean on the fact that this is like a date spot because there were some people that wanted to do that as like a date, like an exciting, oh, let's go to this. But could you, okay, and this is my my thought always on Blind Date with Roger Lodge. Mm-hmm. There are two horrendous first dates for me personally. Number one, the workout date. Terrible. Meet me at the gym. Oh, that's so dumb. And we'll put on our gym clothes and sweat. Terrible. yeah. yeah. Number two, the jacuzzi, the public jacuzzi day. It's crazy. I mean, that's television. Like, it's, but it's gross. They knew it was good TV. And when I said monetary, it's because it was 
cheap for a TV production. And they would, I'm sure they were thrilled to have the publicity of, of Splash on every episode of So that what show. would happen is people would come in. Splash. They'd rent their God. rooms. But the big thing was hookers, right? Uh, clearly. So because it's also, where else can you go for an hour? Yeah. Now, when I got when the guy was hiring us and training us, he told us people will come in and they'll ask you about getting a hooker here. And he goes, <laughs> you cannot tell them. You have to say, like, we don't do anything like that. Like, we don't provide the hooker, right. but you can bring... You can bring a hooker, You can of bring course, in the food. But, like, yeah. you can't be like, hey, can you help arrange a hooker to come here? Of course, yeah. So, man, I, I mean, we lasted... Chuck lasted, like, three days. I lasted, like, two weeks. <laughs> Um, what kept you hanging in? Like, what uh, was... Uh, honestly, it was just that I had a job. Yeah. So I was like... But then, like, it was one of those things, psychologically, you break down because it's gross. Yeah. And, it's yeah. <laughs> Immoral. Like, they, um, so they used to have this policy that you have, to go, you have to go to the room. You have to go to the room uh, when all parties are there. But if, imagine if you're meeting a hooker. Let's say you Ooh. set it up. Uh, and you don't like you're nervous, right? You're embarrassed that this is happening. So I would see guys come in, and they were like, "I'll take the whatever room." I'm like, "Okay," and they're like, "I'd like to go there." And I'd be like, "Well, is, is the other person here?" Uh, no, they're gonna meet me here. And I go, "You have to wait till they get here." And they would get like, they're like, "I don't want to wait. I just want to go in there." I'm like, "I'm sorry, it's policy." Uh, and you'd see them just kind of like, "Man, yeah, uh, is, can, is there nothing getting... I can do? Like, can I? I, I really don't want to be like waiting here. And, like, I'm sorry. That's like that's the policy." And then, like, a couple times I would see, you know, another guy would walk in and go, "Kevin," <laughs> and then he'd go, "Are uh, you are you Mario?" <laughs> yeah, and they'd be like, "Okay," and then you look at me like, oh, "Come on," I was like, "Okay," and then I would take them to the room. Some one time, two guys. Or one guy had two guys meet him there, and they were in that room like six minutes, you know. Peyton Lafferty. Peyton Lafferty. The thing, and then, and but, then but, I walked in there, and there's like three used condoms. Of like, course. But there was no actual policy at Splash prohibiting no, of course fucking not. in the hot tubs of, or no. body fluid being expelled in the water. I mean, that was encouraged. That, that, was, that the was the whole point of Splash. Whole point, yeah. But we just couldn't, you couldn't get the hookers for them, but That's you could right. facilitate the meeting kind of thing. I mean, you're just like, you're renting a room. I, I don't care what you do in there. You a, know? But a room that's also really unhygienic and really dangerous if everyone's coming in the whirlpool ev every day. I mean, how many loads of jizz were in those jacuzzis? And then now you're going to rent that jacuzzi and sit. Had, it's so unhygienic. We had a whole uh, system for like the <laughs> chlorine and measuring the pH balance. Ugh. So we had to do that after everything. Then we had this mop. You had to mop with this special <laughs> cleaning thing. And then you had to, uh, you know, bunch up all the... The linens and wash that. I remember one time after every, every after every of client, course, no yeah. matter what, even if they like didn't use the bed, sure, you still had to do it. Um, I remember one time this couple came in that was clearly like a, a real couple, and the guy was like, "This place is nasty." I kept, he kept <laughs> saying that, and uh, nasty as hell. And she was like, "No, it's gonna be fun." She was trying to have like a romantic night. You know? Yeah, I take them to their room, and like a minute later, the guy calls the front desk and i go yeah he's like this place nasty as hell man. <laughs> and so i go down there and there was like pubic hair in, in uh, i don't know in the sink or of something course. And i was like oh my. i had to pretend i was like oh my god <laughs> so i immediately cleaned it up and he was like no nah. no nah. he left of course and i'm assuming that's why splash got shut down was probably prostitution and i don't know i think he actually probably just had a good run you know the unhygienic that, that place was he was wasn't old, but I mean, when I moved here, which was over more than 15 years ago, he had all white hair and he was, uh, had to be like in his 60s or something. Oh, I mean, know. Splash has been around, That's was what I'm around saying. a so that long guy time. probably, I don't know if it got clothes for that as much as it might have been just the he end just of the had run. run. Yeah. Cause I, um, growing up here, Splash was the punchline. Like oh, everybody was? was like, you take your date to Splash. Everybody uh, knew that some nasty shit was going down at well, Splash. Well, you know, that shows you when you're new somewhere and yeah, you don't know. Yeah, of course. Know. Of course, yeah. I just walked in there like, I like spas. <laughs> I wish I would have known you right when you moved here. God. I would have told you to run from Splash. Yeah, it was so gross. He was such a weird guy. Clearly. Could yeah. you imagine what a rough business to run? He boasted about his uh, friendship with Hugh Hefner and, <sighs> you know, parties at the Playboy Mansion yeah. and all that stuff. Typical, like, douchey old guy. In the grotto. Yeah, he's like. The uh, rundown. I get a lot of broads. Huh? Gross Anyways, guy. we saw a movie 
Yeah. Uh, I wanted to have fun the other day, and we made the mistake of seeing the movie The Post. Which yeah. It wasn't a fun movie. I don't know why I thought it would it be. It just was like, it's a well-constructed movie. I mean, all the all the you know moving parts yeah. of a story are there. It's well, you know, it's well put together. Yeah. But it's just, I just didn't find it that exciting. Yeah. And I... I felt like I felt like am I a dumb person because I'm not riveted by what's happening? Our guest is here. Oh, okay. Um, we can't. We gotta. Uh, we gotta stop for a moment, and uh, get our guest. But will you make a note of where we stopped this conversation so we yeah. can talk further yeah. about it? Thank you. Um, all right, we had to stop really quickly to uh, get let our guest in, and he's here now. I know many of you know him from his uh, many stand up comedy specials his hit show vh1's i love the 80s strikes back <laughs> i think i did a few of those too yeah. fart is for yeah. family on netflix <laughs> it's old billy rednuts bill burr what's Yay. going on i think is this your third time what's i think this? it's second. second second i think it's second back he came in to silver a, lake yeah back in the old school yeah and um now here uh, thanks for coming over man yeah <laughs> lots changed with you you've you've uh i remember in the silver lake days you were just a young a young little man and now you're, you're a, you've got the wife you've got i, I kid. wasn't i was well into my 40s <laughs> you were just a <laughs> i'm just developing very slowly <laughs> a delightful young man yeah. i'll take that i remember i life 43 year old i met bill <laughs> um i don't know if i mentioned this on the last one but i met i met him in person i'd seen him on Chappelle show and you know on yes, Comedy yes. Central and like at the height of like its popularity and then I was at Melrose and this is like I don't know what it was, it was the year that you moved here and he was at the bar and I just started talking to him and he was like uh, yeah you know I walked here and I go oh from where he goes Silver Lake I was like, <laughs> oh my god you walked here from Silver Lake <laughs> he was like yeah kind of far and I go <laughs> yeah uh, and yeah. I, <laughs> I'm still in a New York sort of state yeah, of mind. Yeah, of course, which makes sense. And he goes, uh, you know. Plus, I want to be able to see a little bit of the city. It's just like so much of it is just like, you know, just go, 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 go. Sure. There's somebody up your ass as you're trying to drive or something. So, And I gave him a ride back to his house. And I was like, this is way far <laughs> for a walk. And then right before he got out of the car, he goes, uh, do you want to see me come? And yeah. I was like, all right. <laughs> And he, you know, he just jerked off, and then he got out of the car. Oh. Is this a Me Too story? No. I mean, <laughs> well, see, the thing is, like, I was, I was, I wasn't affected. You by weren't. It. So no. I'm saying that I'm saying that I was like, that's pretty cool, man. And he goes, that's the secret to be, to being good at stand-up. I remember this story. Remember, I told yeah. you. Yeah. And too many comics listen to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. And now they're all getting in trouble. That's right. right. But that is the secret for all you young, uh, open micers out there. Got to start doing it more. Um, we discovered that. There's it's a, the weirdest story anybody's ever said on like, the <laughs> podcast that like made me uncomfortable. From the beginning, too. No, it's the serial killer like tone of like, his his complete lack of emotion. Thank you. Can I tell and you something? This happened. Just, <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. You know what? And I know Bill. The only thing missing from that story is the sound of somebody gagged screaming in the other room. Right. Now I know that you. Oh, just let me go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I know that you suspect that my husband is a psycho. I've heard, I've heard about. No, he this. is. Yeah, no, I know, and I've, he I actually agree. Is. Yeah, and I've been trying to prove this on this show for He's a long time. He's just like you know, there's like Bud and there's Bud Light. There's like Psycho and Psycho Light. Like he just, yeah. he's not the uh, the high calorie one that can't get married and have kids. That's right. Yes, but if you if his thoughts were a movie, yep. Yeah, definitely NC seventeen. Yep, he's a functioning psychopath. Yeah. Jesus you know why? Because when I started yeah. dating him, Bill, and this is a true story. When I started dating Tom Segura back in 05, there were red flags, little stuff. Like <laughs> when we were, remember? Little, little dead animals behind your no, uh, apartment building? Not that. <laughs> but I remember, you know, in the beginning, you're all lovey dovey, and, uh, and he'd be like, I, li I, li I like you so much. I like you so much. I just want to gouge your eyes out. I want to squish your face and kill you and, and put a sledgehammer in your head. Like, he re remember that stuff, Tom? You're like, I love you so much. I just want to smash your goddamn head in. <laughs> I'm being serious. Yeah. No, this, I, somebody said that about my kid one time. Oh, my God, look at those feet. I just want to cut them off. And I was just like, <laughs> yeah, fucking lunatics. Yeah, right there. You can't, you can't be with a person like that. So well, if, I, you, I ever, am, if, if you ever need a safe house, <laughs> <laughs> we got a guest room. <laughs> 
Well, I'm two kids deep now. I think I used to say, like, I want to put your head through that dresser. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I was like, as an expression of love. Right. Yeah. And there were other things, too. Like it's because you don't like love and you hate that it makes you feel weak or something <laughs> that you want to violently take it out on her. <laughs> That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, it worked out. It did, actually. Were you frustrated that you knew you had no control over the love that you had for your Ooh, wife? So then, good, then you just you were starting to feel trapped? I think it was more of I like, like I didn't know how to express how good I felt, you know? Yeah. So I thought... No. That, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. No. He really just tried, he tried to play like dim-witted there. Yeah. <laughs> no. See, I, no. see that's the problem I fell for it. calculated... Yeah. You're everything you need to be to make in this business. <laughs> yeah. You just yes. can't be creative and just be floating around like, oh, that tickles my artistic fantasy. You have to have a plan. But yeah. you got to leave your friends and family behind. <laughs> yeah. This is all these things when Oprah talks about women. Oh, you're going to do this. You do that. She leaves all that part out. Yeah. You're yes. going to miss your children growing up. <laughs> yes. Right. You're yeah, going to yeah. get to the top of the mountain and you're going to be alone yeah. and have no real friends. And there's a reason I never had children as Oprah. Because I, I don't give a, I didn't have time for that shit. I wanted to fucking take over the world. That's what Oprah <laughs> okay. said. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. When you're, absolutely. Well, when no, you're absolutely, swinging yeah. the sickle with both hands, you yeah. mean you can't, you can't no, carry no. a kid. No, 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 no I agree. No, no, no. no. Now, the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the other side of it, of course, you're talking about me, is that there's a lot of people writing in that Bill is, you know, a much more no. profound psycho. No, never. Yes. No, I'll tell I've you. I've seen it. No. No, no, I, no. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't disagree with that. But I, See? But I also no. think that, like, he Even, just he fits the uh, it's I get away with it being a redhead so everybody thinks oh Opie Ron Howard they think like oh endearing. yeah the guy who doesn't get the girl the uh, the fucking awkward that's what they think him he looks like you know every time there's a fucking serial killer yep. that is the exact hairline <laughs> yep when they lead him out <laughs> that is he is the exact fucking hairline yeah well and also you too, know i'm a sweet guy bill huh you know I'm that's that's guy. why you're an extra psycho and bill deals with his anger on on stage right you've got acts parts of your act they're very the punching of the muffins it's very aggressive he deals with his anger creatively uh -huh, no. you suppress you push down you push down you stop what you're you doing stuck. is you're you're looking at me on stage as if that's who i am like you, you gotta no, talk to my you, wife my wife lives with me and i yeah i'm a fucking lunatic but you express the rage; it comes out creatively, at least, is what. But it I'm also saying. comes out in his personal life. Are you? Do you? Are you angry at home? Over the dumbest shit. Yeah. The stupidest. What? What got you last time? Yeah. What's the latest? I, I don't. Remember. It's blind rage. Like I see red, <laughs> so I don't remember. Just dumb <laughs> shit. <blackout>. Dumb shit. <laughs> you like, don't remember. I go to the garage and it's locked, and I don't have my keys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I'll just scream, of course. Yeah. Yeah, and what, to the point what is, three houses down, they'll hear it. Can you imagine? By the way, she has this trait. If you think I'm bad, what? How you would be with Mister Burr over here? So if I drop my phone, I go, God damn it! <laughs> right? Like ah, shit. I hate she it. goes, What happened? And I'll go. I, I, I dropped my phone. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, and you wouldn't. You wouldn't like last. It. No. I don't like it because I had so much anger in my house growing up. Everybody's fucking yelling all the time, and I, I don't like it. So why did you pick this lunatic? Because <laughs> he doesn't rage. He, oh, as because I said, it's, it's under the surface. He suppresses yeah. it, yeah. yeah. And then he'll let it out in one big spurt. Like, I'll, I'll really piss him off, and then he'll let it. Let me have it. <laughs> let but you have it? It takes, like, a while. What does let you like have Like, you it? poke the dog, you poke the dog, you poke the dog, and then the dog eventually... <laughs> I don't bite, really, though. I mean, you gotta on. bite. You gotta I bite? Yeah. yeah. Like, well, what? You just get, you get, I'm you sure get I'm spicy. way worse than him. I don't want you guys bicker through now, this. Now, hold on, Bill. When you say, of course, God damn it, right, when you forget the keys... What's the of course? Is oh, that is that is the that's the movie trailer. That's not the movie of me getting angry. I mean, this it, yeah. Tourette's. <laughs> yeah, you just go Tourette's. Off. I have like a, a a string. It's almost like Carlin's Seven Dirty Words. Like I I, I can't do it unless I'm mad. Yeah, I know yeah. cunt is in there. Cocksucker. Yeah. yeah. What about dog God cunt? Damn fucking cocksucking motherfucking cunt. Like I'll yeah. Do, I yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah, I do that. Dog cunts. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I go, I go, motherfucking god damn yeah. it, yeah, <laughs> motherfucking and god, shit, motherfucking cunts. damn it. But yeah. there's something about pronouncing the whole word; it takes the edge <laughs> off. Motherfucking yeah. goddamn cocksucker. Yeah, it just it takes it away. You know, it's it's good for you, right? <laughs> there's studies about people who like really done by angry scientists yeah. who are sick of, <laughs> sick of their wives bitching at them. No, I got a lot of work to do on myself, and I'm turning fifty this year, so I'm already on the other Jeez, side of it. So maybe Christ. the last three You're turning fifty. So maybe the last three holes of uh, so the golf course. Hey, Jesus. have you ever oh, gone to you play golf? Wait, do you play golf? Oh. No. Okay, I just want to know. Chatty. All right. Do you ever seen a shrink before? 
Uh, therapy. Yeah, I went to therapy. Well, you went, but you stopped going. Well, after a while, it's just like, well, you know, I've told all the bad stories, and I'm always going to have problems. This is just becoming like this, you know, lifelong car payment now to have to come over here, be like, well, this happened. Yeah, my garage door was locked, and I just, I just felt like a pussy after a while. Like, when are you going to just, you know, get off th- this fucking couch here and go live your life, and stop having to talk to this fucking person? <sighs> yeah, you're full of anger. <laughs> Because you, no. you flog yourself for, for being vulnerable. Oh, s- would you stop it yeah. like you have some sort of psychology I do. degree? Ten years in therapy. I, it's so helped. what? It's I've watched football anger. for 40 years. I shouldn't be somebody's coach. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. I'm you're, not your therapist. Then, then, but I, then you're going to like superimpose your fucking issues of the psychos in your life onto me. It's like fucking alcoholics. They, they just <laughs> yeah. always like, oh, yeah, you, oh, you're you, drinking. You need, yeah. yeah, you drink. You must be like me. Yeah. The whole world, because they're addicts. So yeah. it, they're so fucking <laughs> self involved. The whole world has to be like them. Yes, I agree. I'm so glad oh, you're here see. to put Christine in her place. <laughs> she, um... <laughs> I'm the worst, huh? The worst. I know. And you, you know, think you're a fucking shrink right now i mean let the guy be getting angry I'm, I'm trying to let him i'm letting him let i'm enjoying you, him i want to ask bill something is this funny to you oh jesus so this guy is yeah what's going on here? well he's backing into a mechanic's garage uh oh it's in uh, another part of the world, so he's just kind of, you know, he's taking his time, kind of getting it aligned. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> it's funny because you're laughing. Dude, somebody got to teach that person a little throttle control. <laughs> Look how concerned he is. <laughs> he looked. Yeah, life, life is cheap in that shop, huh? <laughs> oh, man. He just walked away. That guy took it like a champ, though, huh? Yeah, pretty much, man. No. But funny. I saw you laughing. It's funny because it, it shouldn't have happened. It's unexpected. He didn't yeah. die. Yeah. You know? And it's we a funny scream, that. too. We don't you think that, that Don't you think that part of the... Uh, I think the guy in the red shirt would be a little more concerned. Unless <laughs> he was the guy driving. <laughs> I think Maybe he was. he's the guy driving. Yeah. Isn't, isn't it a little funny to scream? <laughs> okay. You guys are both well, psychos. But, no, but if you listen to that, you wouldn't think... Like, just close your eyes and listen to that yelling. You don't. That does not sound like I'm pinned... Right, right, right. right car. Yeah. That's true. I don't see it. It helps. Yeah, it's true. See, because Bill... I'm, all right, enough uh, already. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. See, 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 he's further than me. Right, but he thinks this is the funniest clip we've ever played. I don't think it's the funniest. You really like it. I think it shows a lack of empathy for others because I know that that man's hurt. I, I have a harder time laughing. You know what I mean? And I think that that's your husband's identity, and that's his safety blanket, so he stays in there because he feels safe. Well, who's therapizing uh, now? I mean, therapizing. Therapist is a in. What's my safe space? Yeah, what, say, say that again, Bill. L- laughing. Just yeah. doing that. So I bring him, wow, that Tom, he's crazy. Oh. I like him. Oh, oh really? I'm not going to say mean things to him. Because he's crazy. No, I don't fucking oh, know. Don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> well, you just grew up watching Benny Hill and the Three Stooges like I did. Oh, yeah. yeah you just like, you, uh, you know, physical. It's people. slapstick. Yeah. It's, um, it's, <laughs> it's reality TV slapstick. How long have, uh, are you doing another, you're doing another season of your show? Yeah. We're uh, working on season three right now. Is it awful to do that much work? Uh, it can be. On days when it's it's not working. Mm-hmm. Days when it's not working. If, I mean, you can say that about any job, but, but I mean, our days that are not. But working. I, I can tell you this: it's way better than uh, back when I had nothing to do and I was staring at my phone. Yeah. But there's definitely uh, days when it's it's not working, and the, it's like anything, any job. Yeah. Some days it's great and you're loving it, and then other times you're like, oh my god, how was it only eleven thirty? Did you love animated shows? Like I just always wondered. Like no, what, I just uh, love being able to say what I want to say without a bunch of fucking assholes tweeting about it. And for some reason, you could do that in, in animation. Oh, right. That's interesting. Oh, interesting. That's why. That's why I went into it. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. 
Well, because I was telling all these stories on stage, and it was like this. This uh, I feel bad for millennials. Everybody shits on them. It's not their fault. It's the people who raised them. Yeah, I and agree. everything got like labeled, and like also it's not even people who raised them. It's this social media shit that came out, which is just a horrible, for the most part, experiment that's gone wrong, and um, everything just got labeled. So all these stories that were funny, and you could just oh, you know, I had a dad like that, or I had my brother was like that, or the guy down the street was like that. Everything got labeled to that's emotional abuse, physical abuse, bullying, right, right, right. fat shaming, uh, you know. All of it. Right down the thing. So it's just this landmine of groans. Yeah. Trying to just tell the fucking story. And it's and um and then I get off stage and everybody's like, oh my God, you know, my, they would say my brother was like that, blah, blah. And I just got sick of I just stopped telling stories like that on stage. But then I was walking my dog and I was thinking, how the hell can I tell him? And I don't know if I'd watched uh, a cartoon or something. I don't know. I was like, what if I just animate him? And I was just going to make little animated shorts, little really? five-minute shorts. But like most comedians, I say I'm going to do it, and then I never did it. And then um, I met Vince Vaughn and all those guys through Steve Byrne. And, uh, all, and my pilots never got picked up, so I was like, no, I don't have a show idea. Yeah, They never get picked up, and I'm not taking myself off the table for a year. So if you guys have a movie or a TV and you want to cast me in something, I will do that. And then they go, oh, okay, all right. And I'm walking out. And I, was just, and I kind of felt bad. I was like, well, you know, I kind of have this idea for an animated show. And they were looking to do one. So they literally, oh, I was perfect. literally walking out the door. And they go, let's hear it. And I told it to them. And then, uh, you know, those guys are like amazing over there, Wild West. And they got me in touch with, uh, they brought in Mike Price from The Simpsons, the great Mike Price. And together we co-created the show. And here we are. It's amazing, man. Yeah. It's awesome. Oh, mm. thank you. And you could run for, I mean, animated shows fucking go forever man that's kind of the i guess the yeah, good and the bad I mean, yeah, you can get like sick of it but it could be well, it all depends on, yeah i i will, if i'm sick of it i won't do it anymore but i'm True. not sick of it i'm still having fun so. how many uh in, in a show like that because it's funny too with netflix you know you get into one show and you're like how many episodes are in the season it's like eight you're like god damn it and then the next show you pull up has 13 and then the next show i mean what is like a, a run ten. it's 10 okay yeah okay that's cool eight's not bad but if they're hour long things even if it's a good show yeah. it does kind of feel like all of a sudden you've dumped all this work in your lap like i yeah. gotta sit down and watch all of these yeah and then if the story starts to go a little in a way that you don't want it you're like ah fuck well things get i mean Do on I some finish, of the shows i'm not gonna finish this like uh house of cards definitely got wacky as uh as the seasons progressed i never could i never got into that show yeah it was really i didn't good. like the asides to the camera Oh uh, yeah, like, like that, that's actually. the senator, and he's a hoobity doobity. <laughs> I'm just like, All right. I like. Like parts. I just fucking. I was like, is, is, are they really gonna do this every fucking ten minutes? Yeah. That yeah. breaking of the fourth fucking wall. I hate I that shit. I, <laughs> I didn't like it in Ferris Br Bueller's Day Off. Yeah. Yeah. Either do the fucking movie or make a documentary. <laughs> I don't like this hybrid shit. Like I'm supposed to be excited at yeah. home. Like, ooh, he's talking to me. me. <laughs> 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 there's yeah. like I don't know there's story I, I agree that that device can be distracting but the stories like the writing everything was I thought spot on so good season one season two got started off just like crazy by like mid season shit, three though. season four you're like what the yeah but fuck it's hard is this? it's hard yeah to keep it going I, I, it's oh, like I, you, sure. it's this giant pizza dough and you just keep spinning and eventually you know there's no no show at some point uh, other than like The Wire, Breaking Bad, there's a few that just somehow just stuck the landing the whole way. But it, yeah. it's the hardest thing in the world to, you know, to keep going and not eventually, you know, have people going like, you know, oh my God, done this, it does. And I don't like this character. And then you got to, then you, after a while, you just exhaust all your characters. That's what I'm worried about our show because people always fucking die on our show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're always introducing characters and then somebody gets killed. So hopefully this season, you know, we're still working on it. Nobody dies. So That's awesome. That's fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan, man. So congratulations on all that, for real. Thank you. Yeah, I love you. Even just the way he goes, yeah, thank you. You know, whatever you just yeah. said, you know, congratulations, blah, blah, blah. Just the, the lack of... Of a mo like uh, like our, our relationship is him yeah. trying to do that and then sees me looking at him like you're a psycho and then he laughs and he has like this infectious laughs and he just pulls me back in like most yeah. of my most See? of my brain is saying I got to get away from this guy because <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's gonna fucking hit me over the head with a hammer <laughs> but then that laugh I love his laugh yeah I'm like do you do people ever tell you especially 
after he was caught and the and the movies started to come out that you have a look of Whitey Bulger? Is that a thing for you or no? No. Never? No. I could totally see you yeah, playing Yeah, actually, him. I see it too, a little bit. I mean, well, if they shoot another one. I think the role was down to me and Johnny Depp, and they were like, uh, <laughs> 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 which way do we go? That <laughs> ugly guy? I think the last thing I said to the casting director, I was like, but wait, I'm already bald. <laughs> <laughs> Did like, you go in? No, we're still going. No, I didn't go in for that. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm actually yeah. going up? But you think he got offered that? He's fucking Johnny Depp. I know, yeah. but I figured, you know, they'd be like, it's Bill Burr. Fucking, let's take a look. It's Bill Burr. He sells no movie tickets. <laughs> let's try it out. <laughs> he, he sold out an improv. Hey, didn't you have a clip from uh, Bill's show? Oh, is this here? I don't know. Our Netflix producer approved. sends us folders of shit. I don't know. This is it. What is this? Black guys who love to fuck and fuck good. If you're a hot black guy and you want to fuck me at twenty three ninety five, if you want to move in, you can move in, but you got to fuck me. I need, I need to be fucked a lot, man. Get rent, free food, free rent, and everything else, man. That's a deal, man. Is that from your show? <laughs> no, I'm just fascinated by that guy. <laughs> That's about as free as it gets. I mean, he just doesn't care if his mother sees that. Or, I mean, you know. He free, know, free he knows, is a good word. He knows what he wants. Is that a bow in his hair? Or is that just some shit in the <laughs> no, background? I think that's the background. <laughs> Dude, he, he gave Do out his address. Do you want free rent, though? Like, you get huh? free rent. You get free food. You, the reason why he's alone is he, <laughs> he suffocates you. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's very needy. Very I needy. I need to be fucked. I need to be fucked a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's like, okay. Uh, he sounds like, you know, if you were into that, that he'd be enjoyable for about two, three days. <laughs> oh, it would tire you out, yeah. yeah. Men from jail, homeless, or um, <laughs> you're a thug, you want to come move in? A friend can move with you too, man. Free rent, you get a lease and a key. Fuck me. <laughs> Piss on me, beat me, I'm home now. You see me, you want to come over today and try it out, try it out, man. Try it out. What do you think? <laughs> no, I'm just trying to think what happened. He definitely was not built up as a child. No. no. You know, all that stuff, beat me, pee on me and all that, it's just like your parents were just, I think this whole childhood were just yelling, you're not good enough. Yeah, it's probably I'm disappointing bad. you. I yeah. wish the kid across the street was my son and not you. Yeah, it's horrible, horrible shit yeah. like that. I, I feel yeah. bad for that guy. I know, but however, at the same time, it's funny. However, yeah, but you know what's funny is like he so hates himself that he just fucking he doesn't give a shit. Yeah. Um, I mean, how do you get like this? No, how does he have a job? Like, what do you mean rent free? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, is, does he drive like a UPS truck and like they, they're gonna see that and be like, well, you know, he. he what he does on his own time, he's not uh... <laughs> But we can't give him any black eye partners, though. That'd be no. yeah, just have him, just too deli- have him deliver in the white neighborhood, yeah, so sure. <laughs> we keep that side of him. Uh... Oh, my God. What do you God. think about drug use? What do you think's going yeah, on Yeah, I think he's a little high. Yeah, those, those, uh, those rings around the eyes are pretty serious, I think. But that's such yeah. a crazy mustache that if he shaved that off, I don't think I'd recognize him. It True. is a cr- I didn't even really think about the yeah. mustache. It's a good point. Very Cheech it's, Marin. Yeah, yeah, it's like dated. It's very it dated is. look. And if he wants to attract men. Out. I'm gonna fucking piss on me, try it out. Seriously, probably only this fuck, man. I'm looking for hardcore guys. I mean it. I want to do it. <laughs> I mean it. I want to deliver it. I'm a hot, <laughs> fuck, white trash. Come dump this fuck. Oof. It's a good offer. Rent free. He's a hot cum dumpster. Yeah. He's got a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> try it like, <laughs> Doesn't he have enough pain in his life? He's got to be on this show, too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that, wasn't, that wasn't like low-hanging. Fr- that was actually... If you did that in a movie, if that was the character, you would be nominated because that, that was an amazing performance. I actually... Uh, what I, what I was kind of addicted to was his cadence. Yeah. The way he, yeah. he had a very unique way of... You know... It's... It's some sort of somebody sent a, uh, there's a it says interesting speech pattern here. Yeah, this is like a uh, he'll be always I, that might be the drug thing. Like it's yeah, I, I'm, I've never oh, been like a clearly. hardcore drug guy, so I don't know uh, we um, what that is. That's tweaking. Is that what the kids say? Yeah, twittering. Oh, he's tweaking. Well, we we play a lot of times interesting speech patterns. Some people have. <laughs> Can like, you imagine when he comes off the meth go and he just looks on his phone. Oh fuck! Yeah, fuck. I was I was, I was I videoing again? Just so you know, he While gave out that. his home address on this video. We had the decency to block that out, but he gives his street address. Yeah, yeah. If you yeah. want to try the it internet, out. the yeah. internet, <laughs> yeah, the, it's not a good thing. The internet yeah. is not a good thing. But as much as we would all still be struggling if it wasn't the internet, 
you know, it's good for comedians. The internet yeah. has been yeah. great for comedians for the most part. You can still get in trouble, but like for people like that, you know, he just would have been muttering that around his house. True. Or maybe out in his front yard to people walking by. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and then, then he could deny it. He could deny yeah. it. I, I didn't do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then they just well, that show was the their thing. phone. Back They're like, the, yes, you did. <laughs> back in the day, it was your word against theirs, and you actually yeah. had to prove shit. And now there's like video evidence, and now it's gone past that now. Where if it's just somebody gives a really good detailed story, people just go, "Well, I mean, how could you make something like that up?" Yeah, and uh, that's become due process. I feel like now too, aren't we moving towards an age where, like, you remember, you remember when the um, Clippers owner got in tr- like trouble and he, uh, he yes. they recorded his conversation, yeah. but the, the, his yeah. mistress did and released it. Don't you think we're? I mean, it might be past our life. If you don't think the police are going to tap into that, hey Siri, uh, how many fucking teeth s- does an alligator have? <laughs> Those stupid fucking commercials they yeah. talk about. Yeah. Yeah. All you you're recording your entire fucking personal life. And, That's what I'm saying. And you are going to be, somebody's going to, and even if, if, and then you go, oh, if I don't do anything wrong, somebody hacks into that yes. thing. I'm saying that. And they will, they will fucking, they will do their, their cut of the, the film of your life and they'll make you look however the fuck you want. People are so, like, it's dumb to have this fucking thing laying around. It's going to happen sooner than we think where you're gonna, your conversations, anything you said, Will be well. Someone will be able to pull that out at some point and be like, "This is what Bill said." But this is, you know, what the thing about that all of that shit is is you have to like. um, This is a time to be fearless. Yeah, and I'm finding everybody is like so many people agree on so many different things right now that they are so afraid to talk about Mm because you don't want to get in trouble. Oh my god! You don't want to bring it on to you. I don't want to get you know. I don't want to say anything like it's just, you know, you got to like, you know, wear the all black tuxedo. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're, we're fighting for their freedom. Like anything about foreign policy, anything about all these sexual harassment cases, there, anything about any, it's like there is this one line of fucking thought that you can have. And if you don't have that, uh, 100%, if you go a little bit out of the turn, go, well, hey, there's a little, there's, you know, there's degree, any of that shit. Out the fucking window. Well, yeah, it's heightened here too. It's heightened out, in Los Well, Angeles. no, it's heightened in social media too because yeah. there's always been these nutbags that'll l- latch on to one thing you say, but now they can congregate online and they can become an angry mob. And now corporations listen to these idiot angry mobs. Yeah. And like what you're saying with the sexual harassment stuff, it's bad enough just being accused of it. Of course. And now everything gets taken from you and there is no due process. There is no like, well, hey, there's wait no a degrees. Says, hey, this guy's a yeah. rapist. Yeah. Hey, this guy said something. Wait, yeah. right? Exactly. Hey, I had a bad date, and then it's just all that's out, out in the out in the right. fucking woods, two behind your ear, yeah. over. And then like some of this shit, like I don't know, like what is the end game? It's like these people are they not allowed to to ever earn a living again? Yeah, right. are they supposed yeah. to become homeless? I, I just you know I don't know. And, and but this is the thing. Obviously, that behavior is completely unacceptable, and you shouldn't be doing it. But the way that they're they're I, I just look at it this way. It's like this shit was like a fucking pressure cooker because no one was listening. So in a way, yes. it's it's deserving on the male side that this is happening, but right. it's fucking exploding now. But any sort of like, hey, 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 okay, okay, let's 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 find out what happened. Yeah, you know, there's there's well, none of there's well, none there, of that. I've actually heard the argument that we shouldn't break down and explain the degrees and the differences of these accusations. Like, I've heard that. Well, that, I think that's because there needs to be a corrective first, right? There right. needs to be a correction. The pendulum, like Bill said, was so far on this end, and everybody's so fucking angry. So now the pendulum's way here, and now with the last thing, with the Aziz story, I think people are starting to go, well, wait a minute. Maybe there's gray areas to this right. discussion. It's not just... There's gray areas to with, everything. with everything. If, if yeah. you, look, if you yeah. look at people who created law who are way smarter than me... Yeah. You know what I mean? There's 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 misdemeanors, then there's, 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 yes. there's felonies, yes. there's, there's murder it's one, codified. there's murder two, there's That's manslaughter. Right. People that are in this thing with with their anger, especially if they're emotional about it, don't even want to entertain that conversation. They are just like it's it's like you you're trying to sell somebody like, hey, armed robbery and shoplifting are different, right? And they're saying no, it's all the same. Somebody took something. That's the same. Yeah, take their like behead okay, them in the public well, square. I think you're being unreasonable because you're so emotional, which is a totally fair thing to say. But everybody else who's kind of thinking logically, I think, is open to the idea that 
No, the of majority, course the majority of the people are. Because yeah. anytime I've said that on stage, yeah, like there's no like, oh my god, heckling, shouting down. There's no like fucking problems. Uh, same thing when you talk about the war. There hasn't really been any problem, but everybody is afraid to like, you know, it's it's not good to, um, you know, when when it's it's this level of emotional reaction. Yeah. To to just just lay back and just be like just okay just don't get involved don't get involved because it it's gonna it, you know God I mean the, you know the, the thing about a sex thing is if you if you just get accused of it of course, I've said yeah. for the longest time like if you get accused of rape they shouldn't show your face or name until you're convicted right because once somebody just gets accuses you of it you're yeah. fucked you're fucked uh, and done not to mention even if you were just accused of it like. Everybody in your own like personal life, you work. It, that's going to get out, of course. And now social media, everyone's going to rat you out, anyways. And it's just like there's there's no comeback from that. And if you're actually innocent, and I've seen people going like, "Well, the, the instances of that are really rare." It's like look them up. Yeah, there's enough of them that there should be some sort of thing like that. But I just don't think you can keep anything under a lid anymore. But um, I really do believe that it's a time. For like you know uh, to not be afraid um, when you're on stage, especially as a comedian, like all like they, they're just starting to like you know uh, paint. It, it's just the weirdest thing. Like when I was I was on stage, I was joking with it was like this younger crowd, mm-hmm. and usually when you get to my age, you start getting fifty. It's like you kind of become like the cornball, like hey, take my wife, please. You know, yeah, like yeah. your style becomes old. But they are so under a microscope, mm-hmm. they act like old people. So. Like I, I was watching, I was at a show last night. There was a couple guys like my age. We're like the edgy guys. Right. We should yes. be the cornballs. Yes. Right. Looking at the twenty-something-year-olds so in the crowd, being yeah. like, "Jesus Christ, this, these people are going to be running the nation." Yeah. Oh my God! Remember yeah. back in our day, we just did yeah. dick jokes. What are these? Uh, I'm not really saying the comedians. I'm just saying the way the crowd. Yes. Yeah. It's like you're on fucking doing a old, bunch of old people on a cruise ship. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, it's interesting. We had um, dinner with someone that has three twenty-five-year-old children. And he was saying how these kids are so terrified now because of the whole, yeah. uh, you know, Me Too or the sexual harassment stuff. They're so under a microscope, like you said, that right. every move is like, can I ask a girl off? I don't know. Da, 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 da. Like, they're so Dude, last, fed. Last night I was at the Laugh Factory, and I, as I was walking out, I was looking at my phone, and there was a waitress in front of me, and like, I, don't, I, I, don't, I just didn't see her, and I bumped in, like bumped into like her backside, mm-hmm. like her back all the way down. I just went, oh, fuck. I go, sorry about that. And she just goes, yeah, it's cool. And I was like, oh, thank yeah. God. Oh, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I've been on, on stage, I've been doing this bit about the degrees of the sexual harassment things, like how they're basically, it's, it's a bit about that. Uh-huh. I did it in Phoenix, Honolulu. I did it at the store. We Every, get it. You're working the road. People I like get, you. But, yeah, I know. but then I did it. <laughs> I, I moved did tickets. It, I know. I did it at a fundraiser show here. Whew, man. Well, when any, well, anytime you do a fundraiser, people are, are in this phony uh, sort of, uh, I have to pretend I care. Yeah, yeah. So it, it, And it goes beyond. You obviously care because you're there. Yeah. But there is the cause. But then it, it seeps into everything else. Yeah. You know, and then it becomes like, oh, you just, but I, usually one line. Mm-hmm usually like gets rid of it or whatever you know what i mean if you just call them on it then they can kind of like relax but uh, yeah no that did not <laughs> my show oh it was it went pretty it went south pretty pretty badly you weren't able to recover i was able to recover after more than a, a moment and there was a little bit of chaos in the room that's how that's not don't that's you not how like outrageous. that though yeah it was it was a totally you like that it was like f- fuel it was fun yeah like, yeah yeah so i mean if you're steering into it but i'm saying i hadn't experienced that reaction doing that bit in other words my experience right. sometimes you have bits where you're like i know this is going to run into like a a huge pushback this wasn't that bit to me because i had done it that was my like i had done it in places and it was always like a bit that worked and then this was the first time where I was oh, like... Oh, that's always funny. We're like, ah, oh, this one's going to get... Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. I'll just... <laughs> yeah. Suck Sierra. And you're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> ah, it's going to be one what of these shows. Because you've done, like, obviously everyone knows you've done a ton of specials. Do you have in your catalog a bit that you're like, that's the one that infuriated people the most? In other words, uh, from what your specials... What got special, the most, the most hate yeah. I, You know, so i got to be honest with you, I don't read any of that shit. None of it? I, I, I mean, I, I'm, I've, I've read it, but it's, it's just, it's silly. 
It's silly. I, mean, I said, if, no, you, if, if you want to get like, if you're like one stood out. That's well, all. look, I know that I don't mean it anything in a malicious way. Right. Um. So somebody on the internet wa- or whatever they watch it, they have the right to take it like I said it seriously. I mean, if you want to do that, yeah. But just because you think that I meant it seriously doesn't mean I now meant it seriously. Right. You don't control the fucking universe. And yeah. I like when they argue with you. I'm like, no, I was just joking. No, I can tell you, blah, blah, blah. So it's like, okay, so you know what my intent and my thoughts are more than I do. Yeah. Like, that's what your argument is right now. I guess they're just saying I'm a liar. I don't know. Yeah. But it's just like, it goes nowhere. Yeah. No. And you make their day if you write back and forth. And uh, fortunately, oh. I've always been at this level in the business where, like, I don't, I don't get, like... Uh, too many of, of those types of things. But I also think that the stuff that I say isn't that crazy. Like, I don't, I don't, I'm not really super dark. I'm not, uh, yeah. you know, I'm just sort of, I always said just the loud guy at the bar who's just, you know, you think he's making sense and then you find out he flunked everything in high school and you're like, oh, <laughs> this guy's just an idiot. That is a great description yeah. of you. Yeah. 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 I don't mean the idiot part. I mean the loud guy at the bar that you find out <laughs> flunked everything. Yeah. Wait, did you Hilarious. really flunk everything? Were you bad in school? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I I did I did really well in elementary school and then I did pretty good in junior high and then when it mattered like <laughs> high school yeah. to what they looked at that's when like kind of the wheels fell off but uh you know my favorite thing is about um like when I hang out with comics what I want to know the most mm. I would love a 15 minute documentary on every comics like uh house like the, where they grew up like I would love to see a sh- like a short doc on Isn't bills. Netflix doing that? Uh, on your <laughs> 15 minute document. Like they're just going to whittle the special down to absolutely nothing and just be like, comedians' houses. Yeah. Uh, Wouldn't you love though God. to see like Bill's folks and siblings? Uh, like would, that would be the best. I want to I want to hear every I want to hear the therapy version. I want to watch mom and dad fight. I want to watch him I want with his brothers. So badly. I want to see it all. Like it's just intriguing that to me. That creeps me out. Really? No. Yeah, it's, like it's I don't like this whole like I uh like I felt like with that Aziz story, like I started to read it. It's just like, dude, I don't want to know about his private. Di- this is not. Well, I don't want to know your none sex life. Of my fucking business. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I but just know you sexual. doing that, just you doing that. You don't. You all you heard was one side of the story, and yeah. it's just that's not how court works. Oh, I totally yeah. agree. If you just heard one side, every fucking thing would be a conviction. It would be compelling. Yeah. Everything would be compelling and would totally fucking make sense. It's when you hear the other person's side, that's where the art is. And then trying to sift through and, and look at somebody's, true. yeah, and looking yeah. at how somebody's like emotion. Because I, I ran into somebody and uh, they were talking about how they had some of that bullshit going on. And they were like, well, you know, I mean, that's just how it is and blah, blah, blah. And it was very like laid back about it. And I was just thinking I would be fucking livid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was thinking like that. That's not a so I don't know what that's happened. Not a good but if I was in the jury, I'd yeah. be like, "That's not the fucking reaction." Even though he's saying I'm innocent, I'm innocent. I'm just sort of listening, going like, "You know, you, you sound like you're in a fucking yoga class." Yeah, he's like, "Yep, that's how it goes." So, you know, but yeah. I mean, that's the time we're living in. You know, kind of fucking. <laughs> yeah, and it's just like okay, <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah. it's not how I would have fucking dealt I, with it. I think about Louis C.K. and I love him so much, and I I want like I feel like he should just be punished. Like we should just shame him a little bit, mm-hmm. but not take away everything, right? I well, mean, doesn't that feel fair? Like all right, we'll shame him a bit. I think that get him to knock it off. I think that the what, what's, then, what's actually going to happen is a version of what you're saying because the shaming has happened, yeah. the punishment has happened, and then it's just time. So at a certain time. It's not like, dude, there's so many people that want to see him and, and see what he has to say and just are It'll be the fans. best special ever, like in five years. Uh, I don't know how long, but I, it'll definitely happen, without a doubt. Without yeah. a doubt. Unless he's like, I'm fucking done with all of this. So, Could be. Yeah. Move to France. They would definitely welcome him with open arms. <laughs> they always do. Yeah. The French are they like, don't this give is a nonsense. Shit. You jicked off. Everybody jicked off. Yeah. They, don't they think that what's happening now is ridiculous that American w- women, women are uh, Catherine what, Deneau and, and, Deneau. And, and, and Bridget Bardot are like, these Americans, <laughs> men flirt. This is how they flirt. <laughs> like they're totally uh, like, this, me too is, is nonsense. Yeah. They're yeah. so indoctrinated. And there are women that are saying yeah. it. Yeah, they're they're getting, it's it. probably somewhere in the middle. Like, the French get too much respect for, like, oh, they can have mistresses and it's just sort yeah. of acceptable. If yeah. you go over over there, like, uh, you know, I, like in Paris or whatever, mm-hmm. they, they, there there is a misery to that place. <laughs> so, I mean... That's true. I, I, don't, I don't think that there is, like... Because uh, I used to look at that and I used to be like, okay, are they just, like, honest? Are they just, like, uh, in the future? Mm-hmm. Or did they take, like, a wrong turn? And uh, I think it's a little bit of both. 
Yeah. They are in the future, and they also took a wrong turn. And I just think it, it all depends on how you're wired mm -hmm. to like plug it in. So um, I don't know. Those are my new points of view, by the way, where I just make sure that I say, like, this is what I think, but I don't fucking know. Because know, I'm right. so sick of people talking about <laughs> yeah. absolutes. Uh, yeah, I, I've yeah. unfollowed a lot of people, too, on like Twitter. Like when right. the people who go into Lenny Bruce mode and all they can do is just tweet about Trump and be like, so this happened. Yeah, and then they put the thing on there and it's just like, it's just I know. every fucking day, every fucking second. And it's just like, okay, and what's the solution? Right. I don't have any. I'm just going to show you all this negative shit yeah. from this point of view that's going to have you like, it, it's like, de it's depressing. It is. It is depressing. Yeah. You got like, uh, I used to, I was, I was in, uh, like indulging in news fucking 24-7 from the like election day through the Ugh. inauguration and then like months and months and months at a certain point it, it I think another like Steve Martin comedian right it's ripe right now for another just Steve Martin just silly yeah. silly on, yeah silly but there was a brilliance behind yes. what he was doing yes. like that I don't just mean like silly stupid of but course. silly brilliant silly brilliant like this is a good moment for that cuz it's your so mind fucking off heavy yeah. 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 and um I don't know and I love silly, so I'm looking because I know it's not me. So I'm looking yeah. forward to whoever the fuck it's going to be. Now you have a child. Are you raising your child? Uh, not at with all. A gender pronoun? Not at all. Okay, so not at all. Gender I, neutral. I don't even know. You're doing gender neutral. I just throw food into a room in the in the general direction. <laughs> are you raising your child uh, by the gender binary? Or are you it, calling are you her a, she or is it her? Zim, Ziz, no, I, I, Zimze? I, I I would never do that to my kid. Making like I, well, I get into something, right? Yeah. I always get into shit, and then a year later, I don't give a fuck about it. This kid has like a developing brain. I'm gonna dump like my uh, whatever my fucking my own constitution of shit on. Like I just yeah. feel like that is like adult stuff, and you should allow kids to be kids. Like, oh, I let agree. Them just can yeah. they can they have a fucking child? Because right now, what I love about when I grew up was I was allowed to be a kid. Yeah, and like you know, I didn't like this like. The stuff that these fucking kids could, they could see any of beheadings, hardcore Horrible. porn, all of this shit that they, they could have access to. So um, I would never have like some sort of political agenda as to way. Um, but are you uh, going to force your child to be recognized to be as female? A girl, yeah. Or are you going to say like you get to choose your gender later? What do you mean force my kid to be recognized? Well. My kid's a girl. No, that's, you know, that's, that's what I'm saying. subjective now. Yeah. You didn't know that? You're actually, it's kind of a form of child abuse if you... To make To make them have a gender. Just because their sexual organs are female. Yeah, well, I don't agree with that, and good luck to how you want to raise your kid, and I'm going to raise my kid the way I want to. <laughs> okay. All right. I, mean, um, I just, I feel like you're just... To be a Sweden is the most forward-thinking country in the world when it comes to questioning gender. The gender-neutral pronoun hen is now commonly used by most Swedes. This is Nico's room. And how old is Nico? Nico's two and a half. Yeah. And Mika is uh, almost five and a half. Can I ask you a question? Is there is there a is there a shame to being called a woman or a man or a boy or a girl? Is it shameful well, somehow? It's it's it, what the idea is that you are gonna force your child to be to gender identify as female, even though just because her sexual Look, organs are my female. My daughter is a girl. I mean, and if she wants to work on carburetors or yeah. do some quote guy shit, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, but I know, but it's just like that way. Why do you have to labor her? You're a girl? so binary. So then, what? Because then, once you have two kids, if you have a boy and a girl, you always have to say their names. Then, yeah, yeah, just over and over and over again. Well, gender yeah. neutral you can't just names. Go, hen came in here and pissed on the floor. Which hen? <laughs> What's wrong with that? You gotta, and also, you gotta say like. Yeah. Colors. I hope you're not forcing her to wear pink. I would just. Her I would appreciate if you stop saying her. I'm all sorry. The time. It's they, hen. They it's hen. hen. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. There's this big mystery. People don't realize that sexual organs don't dictate your gender. That's just a sexual organ. That's the point, Bill. I don't know if you can wrap your fucking head around that idea. Hey, you know, I must be a caveman. Look, I, yeah, I, it's, you can do whatever you want to do as long as you're not hurting people. I don't, yeah. I don't have a fucking problem with that. But, I, but we like, just would like you to open your mind to maybe letting your child decide what gender I they are. I open my mind. I listen to you. I don't agree with what you're saying, and it's <laughs> my kid, and I'll raise her the way I, her, the way I want to. Oh, well, there it goes again. Right. I have Nia's number. We'll call it. Hostile okay. pronouns. Okay. Family. The sex you were born with does not dictate your gender identity. Yeah. How very cisgender of you. Okay. I absolutely 100% agree with that. 
Okay. Term. But I don't think a pronoun dictates. No, and I don't mean to be like all male by saying dick. Cisgendered. Yeah. White privilege. Go ahead. Um, which you are right in there. Heterosexual. You are right I in know, there. I know. I know I, totally. White women saying white privilege to me is just because their lives are slightly less awesome uh, than mine. Yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. fucking annoying. Oh, all those white. I, 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 I used to do a bit about that. Go Although ahead, all the work. white women crying when Hillary Clinton lost, like yeah. their lives are going to be that affected. Like yeah. they still weren't going to be drinking their glass of rosé at four in the afternoon, <laughs> <laughs> creeping up to three fifty-eight. Do I have a problem? <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, I got to be honest with you. Like, I since becoming a parent, I'm still a rookie. Obviously, only a year in. There's a lot of shit that other parents say to me or stuff that they're doing that I observe it, and I just fucking I just fade back. Yeah. What's yeah. your because, What's your biggest one that you because, don't? Like? Well, be, because I I I understand how much they love their kid. So they and I'm not going to go in and fuck with whatever it is that they're doing, which is why it's so crazy that these people who've decided to do this, not that that they've decided to do this hen thing, is that they're now going to fucking attack people who don't. Right, right. Which is where all that you're not liberal anymore. Right. You Wait, are, what are you? You, you are a fascist. A fascist liberal. liberal. Yes. yes, that's what that's you right. are. They're, it's, you're yeah, dictating. That's absolutely right. But this is the thing, though. They are a very small portion of the population who knows where where the pressure points are and mm. they go after advertising money mm. and then everybody caves in and everybody has to live off of money so everybody gets afraid like oh fuck if i don't start saying hen and if i don't start saying this then i'm gonna lose my job i can't we're gonna become homeless we're gonna live in our cars yeah it, or, it's gonna be cars i just said there's yeah. privilege yeah live and, in our and, car and these minority the very small group of people like you said these Far, far, far yeah, left. It's a paper tiger, and everybody's folding. Yeah, it's really interesting how they got to dictate the norms now. Like these these outliers of society. You're like Dude. because people are choosing self preservation. Yeah. Over logic. Chicken shits over. Yeah, and sense. the sky yeah. is falling, and it's a fucking acorn yeah. on your head. And I'm not saying that that all of that hen shit is bullshit. It's it's like the, the, they're, what they're trying to do is a good thing. Their heart is in the right place, mm. but to then become like this fucking fist that is just beating on people. Like and, everyone until, else has to do. Yeah, and, yeah. that's uh, you know if I'm cool with you doing it and I'm doing it my way and I'm not forcing you to do it my way, then like why can't you give me that same common courtesy as an adult? I guess they feel oppressed too because i guess they feel like well i've been having to do it your way for all this time we should all do it my way now or something i don't know i'm just trying to think of I, yeah, I get of that it, but know? it's like i didn't come up with the way and i never told you to do it your way I so know. but then it's also like that would just be like uh you know somebody murdered my family so now i'm gonna go out and start murdering other people's families right that'd be fine and then i'd be like uh then i'm right How happy we he got- use he them sometimes it's mixed and it depends you know because Oof. in sweden we have hen the gender neutral pronoun in swedish i think mika has always said when i've asked it's been she or hen so the other thing is you could also do changing pronouns if you wanted to do that with your child like have let them i don't think i've ever given a shit less about a topic <laughs> if this is what people want to do go ahead go ahead and do it but you know there's yeah. like certain things like you just you know Certain things you come in, you're like, hey, you know, I'm like, there's a lot of stuff in education that blows my mind that people are talking about that I, I, but I am open to everything. Look, this is the thing too. If people across the street use hen or whatever the fuck they're going to say in this country and that's what they want me to do, I'll do it when I'm addressing their kids. But when I'm in my house, I'm going to do what I want to do if you don't mind. Yeah. 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 Now, if you do have a problem with that, then I, I, you'd be sorry. Yeah. Fuck off. Yeah. (laughs) You want to come over for a barbecue? Yeah. One thing we hey would. hens. Would you have a barbecue with the hens? If they weren't cunts. Yeah. yeah. If they weren't constantly dumping their fucking agenda and then also like secretly trying to put their agenda into my kid like like a fucking lunatic. Ooh. Yeah. Like that shit. I, You'd I be flipping a burger and then they'd be talking. No, about that's saying parents are fucking psychos. They do that. Like yeah. they, like if if you like raising your kid as like a vegetarian and yeah. shit. Like people who eat meat. Like they want they want like people just the thing about. Humans, the big flaw that we got is that a lot of times we we want to we want to win more than finding out what's right. Right, you just want to win. Totally. So uh, it can cause you to do shit like that. 
And, yeah. uh, you know, and I've been, I've been oh, guilty of it. Uh-oh, that's Uh-oh. a hen from fucking Sweden. <laughs> <clears throat> Do you feel like you want to be right a lot? No, I want to win. You want to win, I'm saying. Win. Yeah, no, yeah, I would win. love to find out what all the right answers are. Yeah, but you want to win. But, uh, yeah, I find, like, when I'll be arguing with my wife that I want to win. But I, over the years, as I've matured, I want to win for less time. Right. If I know I'm wrong. Right. And I'll be like, all right, you know what? You're right. You're right. I've found- I shouldn't have said cocksucking motherfucking cunt. I shouldn't have said that. It's I just found a that, garage door. That the being right thing for me is the urge was strongest always with my mom. And that as I've gotten older, become a parent, and just realize how, how much energy it takes that I constantly throw in the towel before it starts. Just, I don't even, I don't care about winning. I just, it's like self-preservation. That is a, that is a high level of existing that I'm trying to get to. Where, it, I, where yeah. I just like this, uh, I did real well over the uh, last couple of years, especially like you know holidays or like big get-togethers, where when people start fucking doing their, oh my god, Hillary Clinton, oh my god, Trump, oh my yeah. god, the left, oh my god, the right, uh, fucking transgender people, whatever topic they're talking about, sure. And somebody is just going on like a rant, and if they say something that I don't necessarily agree with, I used to. I would, I would just fucking go right like a mosh pit. I would go right in the middle of it. Now, what I do is uh, my default thing now is t- to myself. I just go, oh boy, yeah, that's yeah. it. And yeah. then I I leave. And I'm trying to go back to the old school rules. It mm-hmm. used to be you didn't talk politics or religion at a social thing. It was considered rude. Yeah, and it was because it's going to cause fights. And it yeah. was like one of those things. And and you, I've never ever had a political or religious argument with someone who didn't agree with me where in the end we've been like, you know what? Now I think the way you, you think. think. Yeah, of course. All you do is blow out your voice, yeah. scream and yell. And you feel yeah, anger and you and get, rage. You get, yeah, yeah, and you just, yeah. And then it's you, terrible. You're in a bad mood. You're going to get in your car. You're going to drive like an asshole. Yeah. And it's just, uh, you just, I, I save it for the stage now. I'll just be like, hey, this person said this. I'll say my point to a crowd. Mm-hmm. You know, and then maybe I'll get heckled. Like that'll be like the worst argument I'll get. And but I just, um, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't have any answers, dude. And yeah. I, and I don't want to argue with people anymore. So I, I, I can't. I just, I just I can't. I, I mean, okay. I just do it to avoid the feeling of how upset I'll know I'll get. Oh boy. You know? Yeah. I, I do my own. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. No, okay. no, no. Good point. I, I actually go like, no, I, I see what you're saying. Even when yeah. it's like totally opposite, I'll be like, yeah, no, I know what you mean. I see what you mean. So I don't want to fight with them. I don't want to argue. Yeah, but people like it's funny. Like they try to like put their like agenda in. Like you'd just be hanging out with your kids and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Isn't she cute with that little toy phone that she has? You know, yeah. but I tell you, what, if Trump passes this bill, but blah blah blah, yeah, you're like, oh, like, oh, oh boy, Jesus oh boy, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you yeah. um are you road dogging it right now or no? Um, I took January off because it was my daughter's birthday, mm-hmm. and uh, I just wanted the to whole be month like yeah. the Sultan of Brunei. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get no. her a Lambo. Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, I made her a cake though. That's nice. So that's my tradition. Like every year, I'm gonna make her a cake. So uh, hopefully, that'll make up for uh, you know my outbursts or whatever. Which I'm really gonna try not to do. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I got a lot of work to do that, so she won't eventually hate me someday. Do you think about that? I think about all that. the time, yeah. all the time. No, because I am a very hateable person. <laughs> if you live with me. <laughs> I have my good qualities or whatever. It's weird, man. If I could just stay in the energy that I am right now. Yeah. If I could just stay in this during times of heightened emotion. Yeah. Um it's really my goal because I think if I learned how to do that, I would ju- I'm doing everything else fine. Yeah. And if I could just but that thing is so bad. Yeah. It's like water damage. It leaks into all areas of my life. I could just get that under control. That energy. Yeah, it's like, what could she bitch about? Right, right. I saw you in- I got a job. I'm bringing in good money. We're living a great life. Right. You don't really have any wants. Yeah, what's the you problem? Know, I cook. I yeah. like doing dishes. Jesus. You know? You're nah, the best. I'm a fucking maniac. I'm a maniac, dude. I, I, I just, I wake up, I, my motor's running, and I get shit done. You know, we were at that party. But yeah. I f- snap, like, you know, too much. Is it is it really often the snapping? Uh it's it's you know I I I, I want to say it's gotten better, but uh, she doesn't seem much happier. Really? <laughs> no, you know, 
I, I, I got to work on it. I remember, uh, you know, we ran into each other at that party a few weeks ago. You remember that? No recollection. Yeah, Seriously? Course, yes, I okay. do. Um, that was what, one of the things I left was like, man, you seem like you're in a really good mood. That's what was my, that was my thought oh, about wow. you. wow. Like you were like just, like you just found out, I don't know, that they, you fucking sold the house or some shit, you know? <laughs> like you were just like, <laughs> you had such a, a, a happy demeanor. I was like, jeez. Yeah. Bill, oh. Bill's in a good mood. Well, that's good. I don't, I don't get that review that often, so yeah. that's good. Yeah. I might even have to tell my wife that. I think you should. You know, that party we went to, Tom Segura <laughs> said that I had a really, really nice energy. You know, I played drums with somebody the other day, and they and she was on bass, and she said, you got, you got a good energy. This is shit that I've never heard. I was like, wow. wow. Yeah. That's what I took away from that part. I was like, Bill, Bill's in a really good mood. I think he's way, you're, you seem much happier than the first time you did the show, I'd say. I mean, <laughs> you were you were like, different. You're like so different. You're like, you seem a lot happier than you were. <laughs> First time. It's like I don't well, want to bring you back to that. I'll, scene. I'll tell like, you. That's I mean, what I. That actually breaks my heart. Like the eggshells that you just said that with. Well, ah, because I don't want to be that guy. Never wanted to be that guy, and I became that. I became that guy. Because you you just a little more introverted, I think, and a little more maybe distrustful. It, it felt. Oh, back then. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Had the guard up. Yeah, the guard yeah. up, and yeah. you know. Yeah. Where's it coming from? You're like, I'm fucking Bill Burr. I was like the black shit. dude in Predator shaving my head. I can see it over there in them trees. <laughs> I was a paranoid lunatic. Yeah. So uh, what do you think ha- like lessened that over the I last I got decade? out of conspiracy theory. I stopped doing that because it was just becoming insane. And I was becoming that guy that you didn't want to talk to. And uh, I stopped watching the news. Because I just realized, it's just like, I can't solve any of these problems. Yeah. And knowing that they exist makes me sad. So I just watch sports and, you know, hang, hang out with my kid. And See, this, this is the is thing. Great. I'm all about the movement, but I, I'm not the leader of the movement. Right. Okay. If somebody wants to fucking figure out how to clean up all that trash in the Pacific Ocean, I'm all about it. I don't know how to do it, but I'm not going to watch a documentary looking at it and seeing my, all my toothbrushes from my entire life still floating out there because they're made <laughs> out of plastic. <laughs> Like, I need a new toothbrush right now, and I can't get myself to fucking buy one because I'm like, this thing is going to be in the ocean 200 years after I'm dead, broken down into, like, little particles that a porpoise is going to breathe into because, God forbid, you know, I got a cavity. So I'm fucking with this thing in the middle that lives thousands of miles, not even in the same, like, world as me. Can I send you a quip? I don't know what a quip is. So it's a new toothbrush. Oh, you know what? You're looking at a write a prescription. I feel like this is the end of a therapy session. <laughs> I'm going to send you a quip, okay? Huh? Just let me say. What is one. a quip? It's a toothbrush. It's a toothbrush. Is it a good one? Yeah, it's really good. It's a fancy, really a fancy one. one. Please, it's like on it. me. You, know, you can fucking throw it. You try it yeah. out. You is know? this how you handle your relationships when people... What, I was just should have bitched about something bigger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hate my car. You just sitting, you know? Let me get you a car. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've been with your lovely wife for how long? How long have you guys been together? Uh, I don't know, like 14, 15 years. It's fucking, yeah, it's a good run. I love um, her more than ever. Oh, yeah, see? She's the yeah, best. Fucking happy. She's the I, best. It's nice. I know. It's refreshing. I, I hate when people hate their spouses. But you can always. Yeah. I, I bitch about her on stage, but I, I love her. Yeah. I do. <laughs> no, but you meant it. I fucking saw that bit, and you meant it. All right, don't yell at me. So. <laughs> <laughs> you going to put my head through the dresser? <laughs> because I love you. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're always looking for ways to spice it up. Every relationship is. I was don't, wondering. Don't do that to me. I'm wondering. Okay, if that's what you're looking to do, don't say that I am. you will consider something different. Hi, Melanie. And I'm Scotty O. With Ecstatic Hearts Tantra. And we just want to share that there are many ways to orgasm. Mm-hmm. You don't actually have to be having sex. Mm. You can orgasm just from hugging. Mm. You know what's funny is they like if you switch their hair they could be each other. <laughs> <laughs> they look just like each other. The uh, whole body can be orgasmic. And especially when you start I'll spasla. I'll spasla when you stop. <laughs> See, um, everything can be a trigger for orgasm. That's ears, awesome. Yeah. That. Would you and your wife go to a come hugging seminar if we send you that? No, because that would, it would just interfere with all the things I'm trying to succeed with. Like if I could just, you know, a water bottle, you just touch it with your fingertips, (laughs) will bring you to orgasm. I would never be able, that's amazing. 
Yeah. Good for them that they've found that. Do you think they're full of shit, though? Well, I think it's going to be weird when they have a baby and all of a sudden they realize how soft it is and then they're just, now they're too open when they become like, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, it's right up against the baby. Uh, <laughs> oh God. I'm just loving it in a different way than you. <laughs> what, what would you do if your, if your wife came home and was like, we need to start getting into tantric stuff? I'm, I booked a seminar. I, I really would want Would you be open to that? Yeah. I would say, no, I'm not going to no. that. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to read up on it, once you go to like a a a, a, a public sex yeah. thing with other couples, uh, it's just you like the the fortress. You've left the gate open, yeah. And some weirdo that's is going to come fuck. And I, you know, yeah. shouldn't judge some fucking person that's into shit that I'm not into is going to get in there and uh, you know. And there's just yeah. You think you think they're going to infiltrate your wife in, in your relationship? Yeah, I just think you're just bringing uh a, yeah. a, a something. That's yeah. You open in Pandora's box. That's no, a wise. No, no pun intended. That's a wise. Now, what if she yeah. were to get into other things, exploring her femininity? Um, well, isn't there a, a clip we could show him about the woman who is exploring her femininity? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys Let don't have see. to do the long setups. We can just watch funny clips if you want to. No, no. It's just we wanted to see. Um, all right. Oh, how I felt about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or if your wife were to suddenly do something like this. Yeah. Okay. See, you have sorry. great glasses, by the way. Thanks. I just got them. My vision's getting terrible. Yeah, in my mine, old mine age. are bad too. Do you look good in those? Like Thanks. I, 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 I <laughs> tried on glasses. It's not a good thing. No. The first thing I thought of those real or fake tits. <laughs> of course. <laughs> And the fake. second thought, uh, I actually, the first thought was like, is that that woman from the Bangles that I had the crush oh, on? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Susan, yeah. Susan, what's her Do you know what she's shit? doing right there, though? <laughs> this woman? Uh, she's coming with finger paint? No. No. Yes, Jade here. And I just want to share with all of you why she's I felt stunning. the need to yeah. share me placing menstrual blood all over my face and what power it holds for us as women to fully own this part of self that we've been shaming for so shaming many lifetimes. For so long. Yeah, so now the overcorrection. Yeah. yeah. Is that she'll regret the video. At some oh, point. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But she'll get you away think? with it. No, she'll get away with it because she's beautiful. <laughs> now, what kind of reaction do you think she would have gotten if she did black guys who want to fuck and fuck good for free rent and put out that video? Piss we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have seen it because there's so many there's so much of that. Like yeah. that guy was just in a he flipped the script. Yeah, as, he did. As yes. the kids say. Yeah, yes. yeah, he did. He yeah. did flip it. He, no. he might have actually been re- reading from somebody else. That might have been plagiarism. But it, yeah. just for, to hear him do it, <laughs> that's like you know that that it used to be a brilliant bit, but now it's a hacky thing when somebody like croons. Like psycho lyrics to a song, uh-huh. switching it up, you know. Yeah, what I mean? yeah, sure. That that's basically what that guy was doing, yeah, in a and sex way. It's yeah. interesting you brought up her looks because what we were saying uh, a few episodes ago, if this were not an attractive woman, there would be a whole different reaction. I mean, the fact yeah. that she's she like, might have created a new genre of porn. Yeah, <laughs> a period on the player blood on her face. Yeah, like if that woman was at the hugging seminar, I might have been more open to it. And I'm really sick of like people like that's another thing, like regular looking people all the way to ugly people trying to convince <laughs> us that that our our standards of beauty were somehow yes! implied. It's like no, it isn't. I agree. There, there's yeah. fucking beautiful yes, people, and it's special. And being they beautiful. and they should be naked, Thank and we you. shouldn't be. You and know it's what I Most hate. upsetting with children when there's ugly children. And people keep no. saying that like you're beautiful. <laughs> it upsets me so much, you mm-hmm. know. I'm thinking more of adults. Yeah, oh. I'm thinking of this movement where they, they, I, they. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> I'm talking about where they're like the the morbidly obese uh, runway modeling, and you're like, we're beautiful, and you're like, mm, I don't think. No, so. I think if I you're going to be in a movie, you should be. And if you're going to get naked yes. on film and yeah. TV and movie, you should be in the best fucking shape Stunning. you could possibly be. Yeah. Or. You go the other way for the laugh, right. but you're doing it for the laugh. But like to to sit there and just show off an unworked out body and say that that's brave. Right. It's uh, like the the bravery is the person who has to look at it. Yeah. Because listen, we all look at each other's fucking regular bodies. You know, it, when you're in a relationship. Yeah. Because you love the other person. Right. You you have to yeah. love somebody. Right. You know what I mean? That's what's amazing about beautiful people is you're not in love with them, but you can see them naked. Right, like, right. Like, that's how, yeah. that's, that's, that's really in shape. Right. I mean, I know. The whole idea is like, No one wants people... to see me naked. You know, I joke, you know what oh. I look like naked? I look like, I have the exact same body as the Pink Panther. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just a big head and it's just straight down, no ass. And then I have like, like the Pink Panther was like first oh. trimester. Yeah. Like, 
And but there was but we live in an age though that if I was completely naked, I would be called brave yeah. and courageous yeah. rather than fucking rude yeah. and inconsiderate yeah. to make you guys look at me. Oh yes. yeah, I mean I've been asked to I mean be uh shirtless. I'm like it's disgusting. Like is it for cuz it's funny? Cuz if it's going to be funny, that's one thing but like it's, yeah like i, I, it's I would do it if if like it can i act like i think i'm good looking right right then right. i would do it right but if i'm gonna do it like yeah it's man serious this is my body deal with yeah. it and and no, and, and literally no. put the pressure on you to not laugh at me and ridicule me is i am living in such a world of fucking delusion i don't have any fucking pigment yeah just for me no matter what shape i got into to take my shirt off, I would be blinding people. Right. Yeah. yeah you're it's just so wild. Well, but and but I have I have other things that I'm good at. Right. Sure. Because so I, do, uh, I you can bake. Huh? Uh, you can bake. I can bake. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Make. Or, yeah. well, what do you make? I can uh, I can get errands done. I'm really good at that. There I don't mind go. doing dishes. <laughs> <laughs> he likes doing dishes. <laughs> really? Yeah. Come do ours. We yeah. hate it. But don't you think, because beauty is a commodity, you know, models, these chicks that everyone makes fun of, they might, who knows if they're intelligent or now not. You, but that's a special thing. If you're born, remember in the 70s, if you were born and you had nice teeth and real big tits, not fakers, this is before cosmetic oh, yeah. surgery, that was a really big deal. Like you, Raquel you were, Welch. You were in the HOV lane. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. That yeah. was special. Uh, you know, now you can go to the surgeon and have whatever corrected. But back then, beauty was a real commodity. I know. It's it, a gift. I hate the lie of beauty so much like the idea that we're gonna act like these really beautiful people are you know not special they are that's yeah, your that's special their gift. thing yeah i get in a debate with my wife because she goes if people want to do that and it makes them feel better about themselves it's fine which is a very enlightened yeah point of view i look at it is you quit you gave in it's weak what um, what plastic like just, surgery just ex- well it's an extreme stupid opinion, but it's what I, I just like a like nose I, what, job. I, well, or something. I'm I'm of the belief, especially in this business, to age naturally. Yeah, you're gonna look way better. Yeah, I agree. Because trying to be 50 and looking like you're 25, you're just gonna look weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah it of never course. looks. You never so, look 25. You look but like if the you're 50, 50 old guy. and you. But you kept yourself in shape and you look 43. That's about as the best yeah. that you can hope for. But as you get older, uh, you know, and it's it's like you're gonna you. You start to look fucking nuts. No, what? It, <laughs> like yeah, Kenny but, Rogers. But, but but you can play like a a, a character or something like yeah, that. Yeah. I love these people who are still like in your your fifty. You're gonna be the next Brad Pitt. Yeah. it's like it would have happened by now. Right. Yeah. Just yeah. stop trying to be good looking. Yeah. and just be a fucking regular great guy. actor. Yeah. That be you got to get on that thing. So like literally, what they're doing with looks would be like if somebody who sucks at math should now like design a plane and get into fucking aviation so everybody right. else has to crash and die because this person feels bad yeah. that they're not good at math like you got to be like like part of being successful is is not only figuring out what you're good at but figuring out what you suck at so you sure. don't waste time yes. at it. Don't waste, yeah exactly yeah. do it i have not wasted one day of my life trying to become a male model right yeah. <laughs> trying to become a, you know how much right. fun, like what a fucking treadmill that would be to be on <laughs> yeah i, I would, would be it, exactly now. where i was <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when i started what if he started now? That'd be fantastic. Like, I'm Bill Burr, the hot model. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. But if I did that. that, it would just be, it would. if I was serious, it would just be unintentional comedy, and then I, w- I would make it out of ridicule. Yeah. But yeah, like, that's true. true. That's true. You know, like, I look at somebody like uh, Pamela Anderson, who, yeah. w- at her heyday, you were, you were like, wow, like, she Smoke was, show. she yeah. defined the 90s, yeah. right? And then, you know, as we all do, we all get older, and and to try to maintain the persona you had twenty years it's ago, gotta hurt the ego, thirty though, years ago. No, but away. that's the, so that's regular so looking terrible. people like myself. If, if you actually resent good looking people, which I don't, I love them. I love looking at them. They're fucking. I, I did a movie one time. I could say who it was this person was so beautiful. Like I never had this thought before. I was like, she, her forearms were beautiful. Yeah, like that's <laughs> like the level of genetics. It's just yeah. like you were just yeah. like sculpted. Yeah. You know, um, I can't remember my point because I just started thinking of her forearms. <laughs> We're talking about Pam Anderson and, <laughs> and Anderson. being 50 uh, and not no, accepting the, the thing, that. The thing is, is the all of those people that I guess these people have issues with that, oh my God, she's so beautiful he, and they don't have to fucking work for anything. The thing about it is, is there's the expiration date. Yeah. And those people never age well 
because everybody's look like I love when they people go, oh my god, did you see so and so? What the fuck happened to her? Did yeah. you see so and so? What happened? It's like, dude, what happened to you? Yeah, yeah. What happened <laughs> to you? It's yeah. like they're coming down to your fucking level, and you weren't good looking to begin with, and you're 20 years older. Do you think you look better than you? like everybody? What happened to everybody? That's right. Everybody looks older. So, but what you're saying is true because we talk about that on this show, the show, co- the cosmetic surgery thing. Yeah, you just look so much and worse. I, and the truth is, I mean, even though it, you can give it to both sides. I've seen it more now, you know, traveling and stuff is like guys that do it. These men that the pull. pull back <laughs> and their foreheads don't move and they, they have a bad wig and then they, they're they uh. older and they have just blinding white teeth because yeah. they got the veneers that like make them, make them super white. Oh, yeah. So it looks like yeah. you know, <laughs> like a, it looks like a spotlight from a stadium. Yeah, in the their Steve mouth, Harvey's. And you're yeah, like, Dude, yeah, you know, like like Christ. LED lights on yeah. the front of a jeep, <laughs> and they and they're like, I look young. And you're like, you look <laughs> you, out of your yeah. No, you know and, and you know is? what they look like too. After a while, they start looking like raceless. Yeah, like it's yeah. like that's not a white dude anymore. That's not Asian. Yeah, I don't know no, what like, that it's is. The future. Yeah, yeah, it's like, are you an alien? <laughs> yeah, like, they did do. You just, <laughs> did you just fucking land here and you don't know what it is? True, you're like, you know are you Persian? What's going on yeah. with you, man? <laughs> that guy from Cat House <laughs> with the fake tanner, yeah. the lit up thing. Yeah, it's just like, and then the, there's something that you do with your eyes. Yeah. like you, you just you become like a, uh, you like, I don't know what it is. It's almost like animation. You know, like the Simpsons look like they do. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Like they're like 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 live action animated people. <laughs> it's. <laughs> and uh, it stands out more, I, maybe because it's newer for men. But like when it's men, I just I'm. Fascinated. It looks even more feminine. You it look does. worse. You do. You look more feminine. You do. You know, I noticed that when I, I did the I'm sorry, I'm do, com, doing coming up. I can hype a date uh, doing the Irvine Improv on the uh, 30th and 31st of January. Uh, that was the first time. Like I used to think that like uh, the Real Housewives of Orange County. I said, okay, they, all right, they they picked like some extreme people from down here, yeah. and I went down yeah. there and I did it, and like I saw like. Nine people that had like back when Bruce was Bruce, the Bruce Jenner fucking eye jobs, like walking around the mall, yeah. and they all had like those laminated faces. Like yeah, my <laughs> eyes were like watering, looking at them, like going, like uh, they look like something like they had hot wax on their face. Uh, you don't look younger; you just look like that face. What you're talking about, the pulled and the lips that are so smooth, yeah, and shiny, and the neck always gives you away. Uh, of course, well, yeah, yeah you know. You, you know can't... what's weird though is if you if you keep working out, like your body can stay looking young, but your head—I don't know what yeah. the fuck it is with your yeah. head. There's like no <laughs> sit-ups or anything for your head. Like I don't know how you no. keep your head in shape. Your head, yeah. but gonna... your head just gives it away. Your head rots. That's, that's yeah. the ring on the fucking. <laughs> yeah. Sh- yeah. I think because it's outside your shirt, like yeah. the rest of your body's yeah. like covered up. <laughs> this thing's just taking the weather. That's... Hey, will you put up that picture of Dennis, the guy from Cat House, the the pimp. Oh yeah. He's, I bet. I bet Gimp's God. age great. You know, when Ooh. they're gimps, like when they're that whole zipped up fucking leather suit. <laughs> Preserved. And, and they're under the floor. It's like they're in a human wine cellar all day. <laughs> but Dennis is a great example of that, that super white, white veneer. Uh, yeah. And he, uh, um, he looks like shit. You got, if you get the super white veneer, then you have to get the fake tan. Yeah. Then you got something. <laughs> then you start... <laughs> Then you start wearing, like, you know the guys who keep wearing tank, like, guys best. who keep wearing tank tops past a certain age, <laughs> it's like, the only way that works is if you're totally jack or you're a fat fuck. Yeah. <laughs> but if you just have, like, those those old arms, <laughs> well, this, where it's just so like, this is what anyway. he looked like before he got them, okay? So this is, this is just regular teeth. Like, you just look like yeah. a regular, yeah, dude, regular that watch pervert. is fucking sick. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> love that watch. Um, and everybody who doesn't know, this is the Bunny Ranch owner, the famous Bunny Ranch owner, uh, has the 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 show. <laughs> um, what was it? It's called Cat House. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was on HBO for years. Was it already a show called Whorehouse? Yeah, that was. What it was. <laughs> it's Cat House, Bill. It's different. It's a little and nicer. It's classic. Human trafficking house yeah. <laughs> that was taken. It's legal. There's, there's, there's a lot of uh, <laughs> there's a lot of shows out there. You run out of name talk. <laughs> it's like trying uh, to name a stand-up special now. Like, oh, oh my god! Oh, it's the worst. That was the worst experience. The latest yeah. one. I don't know. The first two were easy for me to name. Couldn't name the third one. I just was like sending in submissions, and I was like, "What do you think of these six titles?" No, I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to call it. You've named them well. You've had good names. Oh, thank you. Um, walk your way. Okay, here's his latest one. Looks totally different. <laughs> oh yes, Wait, he does. Not- yeah, I know. I know. Hold on, I'm trying to find I him. I fell for it. I'm trying to find a. a is this in here? Too gullible. Yeah. See, that's the problem, Bill. Is that those red flags? 
I just find him so endearing, my husband, that I. <laughs> those are not. Those are crazy. Those are crazy teeth. Yeah, and the thing is too, like what what you're supposed to do. Cause I worked in a dental office with my dad for a while. What you're supposed to do is when you fix somebody, it's supposed to be subtle. Yeah. Yes. Like because they totally it not only. Did they whiten them up? And they obviously fix that chipped tooth is yeah. what you'd want to do. A little composite action there on number nine. <laughs> um, sorry, it's all coming back. But like, so they totally changed the alignment of the teeth. And yeah. then they're so perfect. You know like when somebody's yard is so landscaped, like uh-huh. you know you're not supposed to walk on it? Yes. Like you literally can't walk on the grass. Like you can't have teeth like that. Well, and you can't well, you have can. them. I guess you can. Because I have veneers, my two fronts, because I knocked one of them out as a kid. Uh-huh. They, they say they have to be... Uh, somewhat translucent light has to go through them yes so when the people get them they look like chiclets when they're just white 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 and like just like bricks in your mouth that's when they yeah. look terrible you, I'll tell you gotta you. get them like glass or something yeah, yeah it's this like, is the craziest you know those little uh, mozzarella balls like if you just like <laughs> shape them up <laughs> like, yeah exactly the, uh, yeah, a little caprizi, <laughs> little caprizi salad heavy on the moots there the uh, oh, yeah. the craziest one I I saw. But was, he looks better here. Yeah, with his natural teeth. Danny Aiello. I, Danny Aiello. Dan, oh yeah, yeah. His because the teeth match the age of the face. That's the thing. so his yeah. So his is like <laughs> here's his normal. This right. is like his mouth. What a great actor, by the way. He's a yes. great actor. Yes. Yes. Come on, but come on, <laughs> these new ones. I mean. <laughs> Those are nuts. <laughs> Those are crazy. Here's the thing. They're they make, you know about white. it. They make veneers now that will be like, oh, they'll be nice, but they'll they'll have like normal uh, color right, hue. We're just, right, know, I'm yeah. saying, but like that's super white. He just, man. What is that? Is that maybe like a porcelain? He just went like a straight, what is it? He's Bill, probably having his me? bathroom redone and they had some <laughs> leftover material. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't want to make fun of this guy. This guy's I, fucking great. I know. I'm just saying. I'm not trying to make fun. I'm just saying that the teeth replacement <laughs> didn't go well. I just think it's too white. That's When's all. last time you went to the dentist? Uh, last month. I'm oh, actually doing Invisalign you. right now. Good for you. Because I, you know, I never had braces. I just lucked out that they came in pretty straight. But as you get older. Like, I don't know, like your jaw keeps growing and stuff mm. and stuff started. I was like, this guy's, you know, and they took a 3D model of what my teeth were going to look like and stuff. And uh, he scared the shit out of me. He's like, I was going to look like Mr. Ed. It's like, okay, <laughs> bald redhead and having fucking Freddie Mercury smile. I can't have that. <laughs> Did so you have it's, your... si- it's 16 weeks of these things and uh, I'm about seven weeks in. So, okay. And then for the rest of your life, you just, at night, you just wear a night guard, which is fine because I grind my teeth anyways. Because I even when I sleep, I stress like yeah. rrr, rrr, I gotta get this done. Rrr. Yeah. So um, yeah. Now, had you had your wisdom teeth removed? Yeah. Oh, so that I thought that would prevent that from so happening, but apparently not. No, I just noticed down here they were just getting more and more crooked, oh. and it was funny. Like I, th- I, I thought like uh, it was these that were the problem. It was actually behind was like pushing on them, and and like yeah. it's pretty amazing though. But every 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 week, like you put a new one in like on Wednesday, so that oh, fucking right. hurts you on Wednesday, right? And they, they just move it just incrementally. Mm-hmm. It's nice, you know, considering like at the point, the age that I'm at, everything is slowly tapering off. It's nice to have something going in like a positive direction. <laughs> so, and can you eat with them in or do you have no, to take no, them God, out? No, no, God, no. You have to take them out and then you got to brush your teeth yeah. and floss because there's animals and I know, I know. It's just like, <laughs> if you do that for a week, like Ugh. it's not, it's no longer Invisalign. It's like, oh, I saw what you had to eat for the rest of the whole week. <laughs> yeah. It's like a retainer. I had braces and retainers. It's similar. Um, you have a nice dentition is how it's said. Let me see oh, what you yeah. got going on over there. I got there. great teeth. Uh, yeah. That's not bad. They could be wider. I've, I've never had braces, anything. Yeah, but they could be yeah, wider. You can't even bad. see his bottom teeth. You know what? You could go smile. somewhere between what you got and, and Danny's got. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Show him You're not supposed bottoms. to see your bottom teeth when you smile. But, but look how. But you never even see his bottom teeth when he talks. When he does, his bottom lip is so big. I feel. Or what is that? What the fuck, man. Yeah, lay off. <laughs> I don't see yours when you talk. Yeah. Say no. something. No, no. Now you're trying. Now you're thinking about your mouth. Yeah. You know well, what? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna steal a look. You, you can I'm see. Steal a look in like I can see minutes. your bottom teeth when you talk. I can see both your. It's because I got this fucking mouth guard in my mouth, and I'm also not a good-looking person. We've we've established <laughs> this. <laughs> um, all right. Look well, at you smiling right there. You can't see it. Well, that's a silly smile. That's yeah, not doing. a deliberate. That's Casilli. Is that a silly? Is, is that a new level? It's a Casilli. That's a Casilli smile. You grew up a wrestling fan. Yeah. Do you know about this, like, there's, like, the, you know, whatever, the single A uh, league of wrestling? Like, this is, like, uh, 
like guys that like wrestling and kind of do amateur style. Oh, cool. Um, open mic wrestling. Open mic wrestling is the best okay. way to describe it. And you're speaking of speech patterns. So this was sent in as an interesting speech pattern, this guy named Lou Jean. I'm oh. just going to throw it to you, and I want you to give your opinions and your feelings I love on what this Eugene already. said about you. <laughs> I know, okay? I do. Listen up, Lou Jane. This freight train, I seen your video, what you call on YouTube about me and stuff. That ain't going to happen to me on July 27. Listen up, you ugly short punk. You ain't going to take this belt from me, Lou Jane. I'm going to show your old school ass what I represent. You from the old school, just the new school, Lou Jane. Is that the real life Cleveland? <laughs> it feels like it, right? So it sounds like, you know what, I, I I would definitely watch this, and I love this fucking uh, vi village people guy on the fucking left. <laughs> That's his promoter. Yeah. Gigi Allen. I actually there? could be a stunt double of him. I'm not you as, could not be. As, yeah. not, not as worked out, though. Yeah. Um, he sounds like Forrest Gump. Yeah, he has like such a GMA. specific... Speech pattern, you know that. Listen up, Lou. I don't think Ways he's. I don't think he's putting it on. Either. No, no, that's no. Really that guy awful. is a scary dude because his tone. He didn't yell, and because it was calm, and he's a big guy. <laughs> yeah, like that guy. I think when the bell rings, he might not hear it, and he might keep going. Uh, <laughs> I think yeah. you're right. What yeah. happened? What happened there? What's I just that? wanted to kill <laughs> kill something beautiful. What's that Fight Club moment? <laughs> Everybody was talking. I saw that movie once. Of mice and men. That's what it reminds me of. Everybody, oh, yeah. You know, yeah. Remember, the he pocket. loves them so much that he kills them yeah. all. He's like, I was hugging it. And yeah. Like, did you cry when you read it? Like, you finally related yes. to somebody? Yes, I did. <laughs> I did. I, I got really emotional, actually, in that. Yeah. I've never read it. Lenny. No? No. There's a few things. Like, I and never, the movie I I never saw too. Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory until <gasps> I was like 40. What? Oh, really? So okay. then I finally just heard. I, I couldn't believe how dark it was. I yeah, loved it's great. it. Great. I just thought it was some kid's movie. No. And oh, it my teaches God. lessons, way, I, too. Oh, my God. My, my wife was like, the other night, she goes, You want to go to the movies? I was like, Yeah, let's go to the movies. She goes, You want to see like Jumanji or like Star Wars? And I was like, No. She goes, why not? I go, because I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what am I going to do? Yeah. Oh, my God, we're trapped in a board game. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm 49 years old. I can't fucking watch that. God bless everybody in it. They made a ton of fucking money. But that yeah. movie, and that movie wasn't for me. Exactly. Yeah. So that, that would be not, like, I, I, ugly short punt. I'd watch happened. this. You ain't going to take this belt from me, Lou Jane. Couldn't even imitate you know, the freight train. You know, use, I don't like to see in movie the theaters. Force, Luke. I hate seeing fucking bummer movies. Like, you want to see the movie about the guy who's got cancer yeah, and we always dying? Talk and about, the, I'm like, I don't want to get bummed out. Oh, yeah. Out. Life they're is bummy uh, enough. Don't make me fucking watch this for two hours. They're white bummers, really. White bummer. White people like, love bummer movies. I feel movies. like it's a white per, white people yes. are like, and then the baby had cancer. Yeah. Like, Dude, I couldn't. That, that Casey Affleck <laughs> movie, where his performance is amazing. I, I fucking uh, had to get up and walk out. Which one is this? Manchester by the Sea. Yeah. Fuck, oh, fuck, I would yeah. never see that. Well, we oh, got, my God. Well, no. We got, <laughs> no, but I didn't, I didn't even have a kid at that point. Uh, I don't even want to know what's... I don't, well, I don't no. Have to no, 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 no. The they phone. all came no. in. The screeners all came Shit. in. Last year, we got a stack, and we were like... <laughs> White bummer, white bummer, yeah, white bummer, yeah. and then it was moonlight. We're like, there's a black bummer because <laughs> then it was it. moonlight was like AIDS and like I was nah, like, I don't want to watch fuck, any of these. Man. You, you know, know what's funny? I saw moon. Is it moon? Moon I, I moonlight. Think it, I think it's called moonlight. Yeah, moonlight. Yeah, I almost said moonlighting. I know it's supposed to be. Moonlight. Fantastic. I know it's fantastic. No, I saw yeah. that and I have no idea how it ends. Really? That I I can never remember them. Really? No, I can't. I mean, when I saw the Usual Suspects, I I daydreamed in the middle of it. I had like massive crazy add back then like yeah. and i i lost focus so i didn't really pay attention so when the it's end hilarious. happened everyone was like freaking out around me and i was just like <laughs> i don't have like oh whatever i won't i won't remember the movie so i'll be able to go back and go see it again but what happened was it became such a legendary movie yeah that everybody said oh my god the ending so i yeah. I, I i you put it together I f no I, well not no 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 I was never able to go back oh and and yeah 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 no when as it was happening i was like oh so this was all Right. I'm but trying you, not to ruin it for anybody. I yeah. understood what happened, but I didn't I wasn't on the ride. Did you enjoy Moonlight, if that's what it's called? Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. I really liked that movie. Like yeah. I like I like movies where I, I think like, okay, that would happen. That's mm -hmm. that's a natural reaction, blah, blah, blah. Like I either want it to be like totally over the top, blowing everything up, or just an absurd comedy, or like something that seems like this is really happening. That shit that exists in the middle yeah. that passes itself off as like a real gritty movie and it's just like people not holding guns right and shit like this. Yeah. Stuff like that that starts to annoy me after a while. Yeah, you I know, like grounded I like grounded comedies where it's like it's not big studio comedy of like, you know, hilarious. Like, dude, the, the nice guys. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. It's one yeah. of my favorite fucking movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ryan Gosling and uh, Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe. That was a good movie. Love um, that movie. I'll look at it. I up. like those types. Of, I like dark comedies. But then I just uh, honestly, the only thing I really want to see that I really go for are thrillers. I love suspense. I love like a political thriller. I love you know murder mystery. All that stuff. That's entertainment to me. I all hate the, horror films. Horror, I'm not into. Yeah, I, mean, I, I just hate having the shit skate out of me because I always take the ride on them. Yeah. Like, I remember when Blair Witch came out, and it was yeah. like, dude, yes. that didn't scare me. That movie scared the shit me out of me. Too. Really? I did a set at the Laugh Factory, and I went, and I saw the midnight showing by myself, and later on, and then I walked into the parking garage by myself. I mean, I was waiting to see some dude standing in the corner facing the wall. Freaked you out. That did. The ring freaked me out. Yeah. Um, I What was that? Baba Duke, Duke, Duke. Do you ever see that fucking one? No. I forget that. I, that fucking... And, and this is another thing, too. I will literally, I literally get angry if there's a horror movie and there's some kid... Little kid in trouble. Oh uh, yeah! Like I get mad yeah. at the movie. Like what the f- what the fuck would I, I want to watch this? I know. We just started Dark. Have you, have you watched I Dark? I can't watch it on Netflix. The the series. It's German. It's a German series. It's, it's supposed like to be very a, good. It's a big hit. Have you you haven't, you haven't seen yeah, it though? T- I'm gonna watch a German horror movie. No no no. It's a no. series. Does the monster shit on somebody? <laughs> it's, it's like <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Stranger Things, but German kind of. But there's a kid that goes missing. I can't I can't Fuck watch that. it. No. As a little Done. boy, I can't Done. do it. No. Uh, what was I gonna fucking say? You know what we started That's why watching? I was at Law and Order Special Victims Unit. Oh, why the fuck do I want to no. watch that? I know. Don't I even know. show me that. How but, do we go from Happy Days to that? I know Special mm. Victims Unit, which no, is like thanks. these are the most egregious violent sexual crimes, I and hate it's a it. series. It's Don't a series. Do it all the time. <laughs> I know. It's like crazy. No. Uh, you know what we started watching on Netflix? Everyone shit on, and we we're actually enjoying. Is that movie Bright? The with new the Will Smith, Smith movie. and he's part. Oh, I want to see that. It's we're actually like, not bad. We're halfway we're through it. it. I was expecting like a hate watch, like a ha ha. Yeah, but it's a, it's entertaining. I'm, I'm I like it. I yeah. never do that. Yeah, I n- I think that's bad karma to, to watch, watch something, anything artistic. You're gonna watch it because it sucks. There's mm-hmm. a few things. I, mean, I guess I could just watch that wrestling thing, but like yeah. I I don't do that because I feel bad for the people, especially if it's a guy like. You know who's had great movies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know sometimes they just don't come together, right? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but you're a good guy, man. You have a lot uh, of empathy. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I actually do. As much of a cunt as I am, yeah, yeah. I actually, you know, I don't. But this is my thing. I don't like kicking somebody when they're down. I don't. But I, I'm sure you could go back in my act. I'm sure I'm guilty of it. I'm also a hypocrite, though. So there you go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Called um, myself out on it before somebody Bill else. Bill Boris, funny. He said, "Oh, I got Irvine dates. Of course, they're all sold out." Um, you can see him Thank Christ in the uh, fold him again and Reno, the Reno Ballroom, Santa Barbara, the Arlington Theater. He's going to do the Patrice O'Neill benefit in New York, February twentieth. That's right. Only a few tickets left. Uh, you're going to be in Vancouver, and uh, even we just added a show there. Check it out. Try Vancouver. it out. Check it out. Try Vancouver. it out. Vancouver. Can, can I do? Would you rather with Bill? Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Please do it. it. Let's do it. Can we get the it. movie? Um, the, the music. I mean? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Would you we'll rather you smile out. and only show your bottom teeth <laughs> or have to get the worst boob job ever? Oh, of oh, the smile. Come on. Clearly. Drink the top layer. I'm an itchy asshole. It's time to play with real sexual predator. It's time to play chunky. It's time to play with oh. Did you compose this music? No. Somebody the made urine it from two dirty homeless men. It's time to wipe my butt with your mucus. Homeless jar. I've of been mucus. have sex with your sister. Take it in the face. Vinegar strokes. The grandmother walks in on you masturbating. Never have another orgasm. It's time to play with rabbit. It's time to play with rabbit. It's time to play with rabbit. I'll say this intro isn't rabbit. long enough. Jesus it's going to be a little bit longer. Hold on. <laughs> That's it. It's over now. <laughs> okay, okay, ready? Here you go. Would you rather. This is just specific for you. I crafted this one just for you. Okay. Okay. F- would you rather from now on, you're known as the non-binary comedian? Hen. Bill Burr Hen. Oh, right. I love this already. <laughs> I feel like I need to reinvent myself at this point in my career, so I like this so far. And you're kind of going to do an Eddie Izzard thing where you maybe you, wa- you might wear like high heels and a skirt for the first half of your show, and then you might gender flux in the middle of your set and then go back to being a man. What does gender flux mean? Good question. So gender Thank is you. fluid. That wasn't condescending at all. <laughs> Gender's fluid. It's it's uh it, it can it, it means... can change throughout the course of the hour, the day. Hen, hen. hen could be 
she to start the show and he by the end of the show. You could be astral oh, so gender. Take him you on could a be ride. color gender. Oh, you yeah. could be dog gender. And there gender. might be an intermission, which I think would be advisable, where you switch genders. So like your first half, like she said, is in a dress. Maybe you can. Can I out. pick the shoes? Can they have like yeah. a, that, the ones that don't hurt your back? The one with the less sexier <laughs> the ki- stiletto, the kitten yeah. heel, the, 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 the that spix, thick one, the big yeah. square one. <laughs> oh right, yeah, yeah, wedges. Yeah. I'm going to a barn raising. Yeah, that shoe. okay. So you're the non binary you're Bill Burr, or the non binary comedian. It's very in right now. Or you're Bill Burr, the race comedian. Where you do kind of what Don Rickles and Lisa Lampanelli were doing, you know? So it's like, a a, oh, like no, hey, the Puerto no, Rican guy no, in the front, no, and what's with no. the Jews? Hey, uh, and the... Why don't you uh, go clean a hotel room? Hey. Boom. Can, can, I, can yeah. I do it as like a Tony Clifton type character, or do I have to believe it? Well, no, you it's you. I, no, no, no. He, if he does it as a character, it's not. you're no right. longer Bill Burr, the yeah. race oh, comedian. I would, I would do the binary thing, absolutely. <laughs> really? So you could do all the material you want, but your presentation will just be as hen, basically. I absolutely. I probably have more female fans my my fucking fan base is a sausage festival that's yeah, yeah. true so you know so I, I maybe have that prince vibe he's androgynous yeah you know that's what i mean true. so you'd go for that do some of my jokes in falsetto <laughs> fuck yeah there you go learn a couple answer. of languages okay he's in that's I good I bill like burr that. in a dress and heels and not addressing it would be the fucking most amazing right and you can't thing. be like this is because it would Christina be so, so did brave would you rather? it would be, be so, so brave, brave. Yeah. so courageous <laughs> yes so woke yeah. <laughs> woke af you know what i mean Oh. Yeah, Jesus, that's you're a coming that's a, out. Okay, yeah. Okay, so you're the non-binary comedian. Very good. Yeah, yeah. good. Okay, here's another Performing one. Performing in Irvine. <laughs> By the way, I, they didn't mention I'm going to be wearing a dress. Yes, please. <laughs> okay, would you rather? Everywhere you go, you have to run to get there. I'm out on that. I don't, <laughs> I don't even care what the next one is. My back can't take it. It's literally like you go to the next room in your house to say like something to your wife. Like a five-year-old. No. Yeah. Exactly. No. <laughs> always running. It's Never stretching. <laughs> just always running. Right. You always have to, you have to run if to somebody, Irvine. If someone knocks on your front door, you have to run there. You have to run on stage. Heavy you feet. Run. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah. I, don't, I don't care what this is. Or join ISIS. <laughs> All right, ISIS. <laughs> Let's get those fucking infidels. <laughs> or every time you speak, you're shouting. So you're basically a toddler. Like you're just you're full screaming volume full shouting. Vo- like right Will now. Will it hurt my voice to do it? Of course, yes. Yeah, a little painful. bit. Yeah. Of course. It's uh, not fun. Neither of these are going to be fun. But you have to go like the phone ring. <laughs> Hello! Yeah, like that. You you always you say you say everything in that range. Yeah, and your stand up too. I found a loophole. <laughs> I find a loophole. What's the loophole? loophole? <laughs> I would just ignore people. Oh. So then I wouldn't have to talk to them. And then they, when they, I just wait till they <laughs> say my name 10 times. And I'd be like, what? <laughs> so it made sense. There's the loophole. Because you need, you, 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 you yeah. need your health. Good. You need your health. And my, my, my body would just hurt so much what if I your, did that. Your sweet wife who you love be like, Bill, you got to go, <laughs> yeah. And then she's like, do you think you can take our daughter to the park? You're like, yeah. And then your sweet daughter. Yeah, but here. I could explain to her. I have an affliction. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore the tone of my voice. I love you more than life itself. <laughs> You're my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. I'd love to go to the movies, <laughs> but you're gonna have to do the purchase. <laughs> he can't whisper during the movie. Yeah, he yeah. can. He can shout it. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my favorite actors. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> he could do it. I think the wife did it. <laughs> he gets some popcorn. Yeah, but I actually because that, that would be fun. Once yeah. my wife was into it, I would just be totally quiet. <laughs> yeah. And you're yeah. having sex. You like that? <laughs> You feel so good. <laughs> it would wear on her. I think the bit would wear on her after a while. You no, I, I, I would just duct tape a pillow around my my oh, mouth. Yeah, yeah. All right, so, so it then it'd be all like... right. <laughs> just do it like that. <laughs> it's still hard. it's still not sexy. No, no, <laughs> my brain this is hurts. Terrible. <laughs> the back of my head hurts. But but if you run everywhere, you'd be in great shape. There you go. And you can maintain your, your human relationships. Yeah, you wouldn't yell at but anybody. But it's, it's as simple as like you have to go piss in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that, but that, <laughs> no, but I would be miserable. I would start yelling at people because y- your body can't take that. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a lot. Yeah, but what? you get used to it. What do you mean? You'd be in fantastic shape. I would just like to love to if see it. If that's all you need to do to be in fantastic shape and you <laughs> run everywhere, to, you, you don't get used to it. Your body breaks can down. You imagine <laughs> that he goes into the bank. <laughs> <laughs> runs to the line. They're like, "You're next." <laughs> he fucking sprints up. Hey, 
just want to make a deposit. And they're like, all right, yeah. <laughs> chill the fuck out. <laughs> Run up to the TSA line. I'll yeah. be fucking maced every time. I have to start flying private. They sprint, sprinting through the airport. We're running. Oh, my favorite right. thing. So you're uh, going to take shouting? Um, that made me laugh so hard. Yeah, I would take shouting. I told you. I just I wouldn't talk to people a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Just ignore everyone. But your act, you're going to have to shout during your act, I would start act, writing too. books, and I would live alone. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't do the audible version yeah. of the book, though. Sure, you could. I would just ignore read your... people. I, after a while, I wouldn't have to talk to anybody. But yeah, then, but then what if I want I, yeah, those are t- those hard ones. I, maybe I would choose running. No, well, no, ne- neither one. I think I'd kill myself. <laughs> Either one of those would lead me to suicide. Yeah, that's the point. Well, that's the okay, point so of the show. Great. yeah, Tom, what would you choose, running or yelling? Yelling. Look at him. <laughs> He's completely out of shape. I'm not. <laughs> I run. Come I lift on. weights. No, you don't. I swear to you, you I never do. do. I always do. You should feel bad about yourself. <laughs> Phil, I've been I'm doing shaming it. you. I'm shaming. I'm you. I could do it more. Uh, do judging it more. you. All right. You're not um, fat. You're husky. I'm a <laughs> is bone. husky. You know, like in the '70s when they used to have that size husky. They had husky, husky jeans. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be a husky when you were a boy. You're, You're a super thicky. Strong. You're just a thicky. Yeah. Thick yeah. boy nation. That's yeah. what I'm part of. <laughs> <laughs> T-H-I-C-C. <laughs> um, no, I would definitely not take running. <laughs> I would yell at everybody. I would take running. Maybe not pregnant, but if I weren't pregnant, I'd just run everywhere. It'd be good for you. Get my. I hate exercise. Yeah, no. I this way I'd it. get it out of the way. You'd be insane. You'd feel a sense of urgency. All they, the time. they both make you feel insane. But I would, take, I would shout, <laughs> run into yoga class, <laughs> like, and then run out. <laughs> they'd be like, "You're crazy, man." <laughs> but they'd also be crazy if you were like, "I'm ready to do it." <laughs> you know, feeling good. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you could hide the uh, not having to run everywhere more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, Bill, can you come here for a second? Ah, I'm busy. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I um, said, come here for a second, not in a second. Yeah, yeah. Go to commercial. <laughs> Boom. There's your sick. This might be a sitcom. This could be a These great two people sitcom. live together. <sighs> do, 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 do. I like it. What else do you guys think? Wait, stop here? running everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop running if you stop shouting. <laughs> we can't. We played Would You Rather, so yeah. we're stuck in this agreement. Yeah, that's the stake. If you want to move in, you oh can move God, in, but you got to fuck guy. in. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's fascinating. I want to hear him talk about other <laughs> shit, though. I know. I don't know. It's oh. global warming. I don't know if it's going to come. <laughs> <laughs> Is that uh, it, Gene? That's all I got. All right. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, Bill, thanks a lot for coming over yes, today. Yes, thank no you so we much. Had a, we had a great time with you, as always. Um, I love when wanna... he says nice shit. Oh, you do? Yeah, just no, just looking at you, the psycho look on your face as you say it, it's just fucking I, well, great. Everything is psycho for me. I didn't realize that. He's right. Bill Burr.com um, for your tickets to, to all his Free rent, you get a lease and a key. Fuck me. And um, <laughs> yeah, you can yeah. listen to his wonderful podcast, the Monday Morning Podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can watch F is for Family. It's on Netflix. He has 13. Uh, stand-up comedy specials. Oh my god! Hen, Hen, Hen has thirteen. Hen does. <laughs> now you're on the program. Good. Now you're finally getting. Finally, there. jeez. Um, all right, so that's it, Gene. Anything else? That's it. Go to the site, your mom's house. Try it out. It's not that Try I'm it cheap. Out. It's just that this is going to exist in the ocean forever. So I might as well go. fucking drink it, right? There you go. Try it out. Yeah. Piss on me. Beat me. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks so much. Bye, jeans. On the day before the 70th birthday, we're gonna get down and we're gonna get dirty. Top and tail, we're gonna have a swing in time. Get a grip upon the pole, I'm going downtown to the watering hole. We're gonna have our sail to 69. 69. 69. Eat that scrum, eat that old vagina. Grip upon the pole, I'm going downtown to the watering hole. Gonna have ourselves a 69.